all the volunteers yes, registered. Yeah. I think over it was like a, over 170. I bet you it'd be like over 200. Well, you know, just, people going to come out from the block. You know, people yeah. show up. A lot of people just going to pop through. And there are a lot of people going to bring a lot of extra people. No doubt. We always do. Hey, you know, we always come in. We get our reservation and we bring Every everybody time. else. Right. We get our foot in the door and we let everybody They'll else come through. That right. Part. Facts. All facts. <laughs> so, I, I, look, I'm excited. I'm excited for the cleanup tomorrow. Hey. It's going to be, I'm going to be up at like 7 tomorrow. I got to get up at 7. All oh, facts. Me too. Hey, we going to be up but I'm all it. day. All day. Working. Putting it in. You and know what I'm saying? Look, I love when Truth Nation call in. I love it when y'all add your opinion. But I love it when I get to see the Truth Nation listeners be about that action. All oh, facts. Ain't nothing like being about hey, that action. You know, I love it. I love the conversation now. <laughs> Ain't nothing like that action, though. But it ain't nothing like that action. So tomorrow, I appreciate everybody who registered. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to have fun, beautify our city together. And many times when we talk about getting things done and serving the community, these are one of the things. This is one of the founding ideas that I started when I started my advocacy uh, cleaning up neighborhoods was one of my founding ideas. And people were like, Tori, well, how did you, you know, do this and that? How did you start? I said, I started by cleaning a lot of blocks. For real. A lot of blocks. And, th and they'd be like, oh, you know, what did that do? Well, what, did it, what it did was it introduced me to my community. All facts. And then I helped them beautify their neighborhood. All facts. And then they started calling me for everything else. That part. That's <laughs> all know? it takes. And, and and they trust me to get it done because we were able to work together and get things done. For real. Instead of playing like a superstar, right. you came out and did what most individuals mm -hmm. don't do. And people don't understand like that that confidence to have somebody you don't know in your front yard picking up the garbage that you dropped. Right. You know. Uh, Making sure that your family have a nice facts. clean environment. Facts. And and I don't see it as I never saw it as me cleaning up garbage. Right. I saw it as me making a connection through servitude okay. to show them that I'm willing to come and work with you to make things better. Powerful. That's that's how I've seen it. Powerful. Because some people may look at it as I'm not going to pick up nobody else's trash, you know. But I, it's more of it was a greater idea. It was a greater idea. Plus, most people want to come in. They want to talk financial. They want to talk all these big ideas. And people don't trust that. Not at all. You know, it's no argument with, with me if I'm cleaning your yard. <laughs> All facts. And then it was a beautiful thing when I start to see people looking out the window, mm -hmm. seeing me out there, yep. and then they went and got their kids up. All facts. And then, the, then we was at, the kids started coming out, All facts. and everybody started getting involved, and then really? the whole neighborhood started seeing everybody working, yep. and then everybody started contributing. All facts. Then the corner store That's energy. started giving juices to the kids See, for cleaning you know up. Like, so everybody started participating. That's when I seen the magic happen, Yeah, when people can do certain things together besides surrounding themselves with the drama of right. what's going on in the neighborhood. Or having to come right. out due to the police being right. there and somebody mm -hmm. then got hurt. And, again, that was powerful for the stores to do that because that's – Positive reinforcement for right. the children. Yeah, they they was like, hey, the, the, even the store, the corner store people started coming out. Right. And they started seeing that it was all the kids, and they mm -hmm. they get then it be, just became this huge thing. And then we were able to be like, wow, that was powerful because that facts. wasn't what that that wasn't on the script for the day. All facts. But like I said, when we all come together, if everybody do a little, nobody, nobody has, has to, to do, do a lot. lot. Salute. Hey, so to me that was magic. So the the that's why I say I'm big on cleanup. Right. Because this is the way that we can start. And hey, you don't have to argue. Ain't nobody gonna ever argue about picking up no paper. Not at all. If you argue if you arguing about picking up paper, you got you got some yeah, issues. Mental issues. Right. Yeah, you don't right. hey, don't pick up that paper. Right. Leave, I ain't, leave you ain't never right heard there. that. Don't touch that paper that's in my yard. Yeah, I don't want you know nobody cleaning up my block. <laughs> For real. You ain't gonna never hear. No. They're gonna bring water out. You know, we had people bringing water out and asking if we needed to use their bathrooms. I mean, it was cool. Man, look, I I cannot wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be another powerful uh, event when it comes to Truth Nation. All facts. Showing up and showing hey. out. Hey. And we also have breaking news, Truth Nation. Um, uh, This Maxwell Anderson, this guy that they had, in custody 
has been charged in connection to the death and the disappearance of 19-year-old Sade Robinson. Investigators say Anderson intentionally killed and then dismembered Robinson with the intent to conceal her murder. Wow. Um, we got some audio of uh, the sheriff, Danita Ball, discussing the charges. Incident. Our investigators have worked around the clock on this investigation. As a result of their diligence and with the help of our criminal justice partners, the district attorney's office issued charges today against Maxwell Stephen Anderson for first degree intentional homicide, mutilating a corpse, and arson of property other than building. He remains in custody. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office would like to thank all of our partners involved in this investigation, specifically the Milwaukee Police Department, the Cudahy Police Department, the Kenosha Police Department, the Madison Police Department K-9 Unit, Great Lakes Search and Rescue K-9 Unit, the FBI, the ATF, the Department of Justice's uh, Division of Criminal Investigation and their Crime Lab, the Medical Examiner's Office, the District Attorney's Office, wow. the Milwaukee County Transit System, Wisconsin Southern Railroad, the United States Coast Guard, Forensic anthropologist they had everybody Gordon in this. Karsten and other partners who may have helped in this endeavor. Your help was very hey. invaluable. Well, I'll say this, you know, all week we've been talking about this story. Mm -hmm. um, now we finally have gotten to the point where now we have the complaint and this 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 complaint is so disturbing. So disturbing. Uh to see that this young black woman, I guess they they went to the twisted fisherman. I one I go to the twisted fisherman, but they got footage. Once they lined it up, they were able to compile footage, video, and almost a step by step of uh, you know, yep. from the cameras mm -hmm. on what took place. Yep. Wow. And he had a history of domestic abuse. Mm. And they said that he worked at one of the local bars. Yeah, and Pizza and, Shadow. And Twisted Fisher, Fisherman, no, too. No, she worked at Pizza Shadow. No, no, I, I, I know he worked at Twisted Fisherman. I, 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 when I saw his face. You knew. I, I go there. I know, me and you went there Right, before. so what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. wow. And, and I don't know, I mean, somebody said something about Victor's, but I don't know if that's. Yeah, they said been that confirmed, he was at but I don't know if that's been confirmed or not. But I didn't see that in this report. But what I'm saying is, this guy took this beautiful black woman, yes, and did this. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I mean, we knew something was up. We knew once we start seeing body parts, correct, in the in the parks, and and and. and People are asking questions. Correct. My condolences to the family and, you know, um, because the family was definitely on it. Oh, the family definitely was on this. And look, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, when you have a missing family member and you know mm -hmm. they schedule mm -hmm. and you know they patterns, mm -hmm. they, they, you know, they filed the missing person report right away. ASAP. Because mm -hmm. it's out of... It's out of the loved one's behavior Correct. not to be on their patterns. All facts. And to me, when I deal with missing people, they don't have these many resources that, right. that, that was in You're this correct. situation. Like, this situation had everybody Had everybody. Involved. And they moved right. uh, diligently, mm -hmm. and they also held him, you know. Right. So th that was a good thing. So salute um, to all mm. the people that uh, made this happen. Salute. Hey, they, they even they even said that, uh, you know, according to the complaint, blood was found on bedding in one mm -hmm. of the bedrooms and on the walls leading towards the, the basement. basement. Mm -hmm. uh, several gasoline containers was found. Uh, you know, they got evidence. They had a lot of evidence 
and they they acted quickly. It many times, I mean, thank God that this situation got the uh, the media attention, the, that the it, support that correct. it needed. You know, many yeah. times we have to escalate. When I get involved, I have to escalate it to that point. To, correct. But I think that this was uh, a beautiful thing to see that happen. That we finally got somebody responsible for what he have done. Correct. And they're saying that they may, some, a lot of people thought that this could have been like a serial type thing. Correct. But they're saying in this article that this is the only one that they are saying that took place. It wasn't anybody else. Right. So, the, uh, so the far, parts. as far as they know. Yeah. yeah. So there's no more threat to the public safety or anyone else. They're saying that this is the only situ- type situation that this Maxwell was involved in. Yeah. But he has a history. He has a criminal history. Right. And the thing is, when I talk about our women, because we had a, a mother who was gunned down yes. uh, with eight children Correct. that we had to deal with uh, at the beginning of this week. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, with this week with the missing uh, uh, Sade Robertson, Correct. Uh, a lot of people was concerned uh, women being murdered. Correct. Viciously. Yes. Vanishing first, then being murdered, vicious. Because this was vicious. Mm. This was vicious. Well, look, Truth Nation. When we come back, we'll have more conversations. We got Elizabeth Brown in the building. Stay locked in right here on Tory Low. And that's Tory Low bringing you all the action and all the smoke. Don't touch that dial. The Tory Lowe Show will be right back on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Here at the new 1017 The Truth, we aim to be a staple in Milwaukee's black community. We are committed to partnering with local organizations and supporting black-owned businesses. We are proud to call Milwaukee our city and promise to be a positive reflection of our community. We look forward to celebrating black culture and excellence with you every day as we make history and continue to up Lift the voices in our city. Join us for the journey at the new 1017 The Truth, founded by American Family Insurance. Milwaukee Black Talk. Tune in to Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris on Wednesday, May 1st, as he will be broadcasting live from the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Milwaukee's College Signing Day, presented by Direct Supply. He'll speak with students from the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Milwaukee about their journey through high school to college, their career aspirations, and the over million dollars in scholarships they have earned to attend college. The Truth's coverage of the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Milwaukee's College Signing Day is sponsored by the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. This is your Planned Parenthood Advocates of Wisconsin Minute. Justice is about receiving what we deserve. Uh, Quote Audre Lorde, who said, there is no such thing as a single-issue struggle because we do not live single-issue lives. And that said, any freedom, including reproductive freedom, is our human right to decide what is best for our own lives. Reproductive freedom is about having bodily autonomy, which is the same as being able to control what happens to our bodies, including the decision to continue or terminate a pregnancy, rest with the pregnant person at all times and in all circumstances. Because when rights don't apply to all individuals and at all times, they are not rights. They are not rights. And as black people, our rights are conditional way too often. Whether we're talking about during police encounters, quality housing, or, you know, some job opportunity. This has been your Planned Parenthood Advocates of Wisconsin Minute on the new 1017 The Truth. Associated Bank knows your small business isn't just a venture. It's your dream and a vital part of the community. And we're not just a bank. We're your neighbors. We're looking out for you. That's why Associated Bank offers quick online applications and approvals with funding in as fast as one business day, checking with no minimum balances or maintenance fees, and prompt customer service. Explore our products at associatedbank.com business or visit a branch for more details. Subject to credit approval. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Wisconsin is as hardworking of a place as you'll ever find. There's a sense of pride, community, and work ethic that's second to none. People here are tough, but even the toughest among us need help after a serious accident. At Gruber Law Offices, we won't stop fighting for you and your family. We've been here and will continue to be here for as long as you need us. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. 
It's the Tory Low Show on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. I used to pray like this when I was 17. Okay. Hit the block and made a plan, I hope it set me free. Uh-huh. Turn that girl into a freak, she thought she never be. If she ain't with no freaky, then she hey. ain't meant for me. I just hit a lick and made a flip and bought me seven. 101, seven the truth, Tory Low, Tory Low Show. DJ Brother Z on the ones and twos. Elizabeth Brown in the building, in studio this Friday. Powerful. Hey, yo. In the hey. Building. Hey. Look, I, I, I got to go over to Georgia, where there was a situation where a Lyft driver was raped, kidnapped, and robbed by a passenger. This is what they saying. They saying that the, the Lyft driver picked up uh, this Demarcus Johnson on March 11th. Johnson, 32, he has been accused of giving the woman... Uh, a, sed- a sedative mm-hmm. and stole her car, kidnapped her, sexually assaulted her. Let's listen to see what's going on in Georgia. You attend alarming details about a rideshare attack. Good evening, I'm Russ Spencer. I'm Courtney Bryan. Investigators in Alpharetta say a Lyft passenger drugged, kidnapped, then raped the driver last month. Fox News' Rob Durienzo is live from Alpharetta PD headquarters with new details tonight. And Rob, you spoke with investigators. Yeah, that's right, guys. Good evening to you both. An unbelievably disturbing series of events. It ended with that woman, the Lyft driver, waking up in a hotel room. She had no clue where she was. Her car was gone. There was a Lyft driver um, who was given a patron a ride. Uh, to a local area restaurant. Alpharetta investigators say that patron was 32-year-old Demarcus Johnson. During the ride, they say Johnson and the woman driving for Lyft connected. The two engaged in conversation, um, agreed to have a drink with one another, um, at which time the victim uh, doesn't remember and is unable to account for the events that evening. Cops say at some point on the night of March 11th, Johnson drugged her. Her toxicology uh, report came back with um, prescription narcotics uh, that she's not prescribed and that she reportedly does not take. Investigators say the victim woke up the next morning in a hotel room unfamiliar to her. Her car was gone and so was Johnson and police say she realized she was raped. Cops say they worked with Lyft, tracked down cell phone records and retraced their moves that night. We worked with Lyft, um, and then we also worked with uh, local area restaurants and hotels uh, that they uh, visited throughout the evening. Last Friday, nearly four weeks after the horrific hey. ordeal, Alpharetta police arrested Johnson on charges that include okay. rape, kidnapping. Right. You know, we got the gist of this, but the thing is, uh, you suspicious. Okay, you driving the Lyft. That's suspicious, man. You driving the Lyft, a, a passenger get in. Facts. How it go from that? To having a drink. To have, okay. So what I'm saying is, either this dude got a lot of game that that I'm, why didn't you just drop him off? Do you, just do your job. Like, I mean, why would, I wouldn't even want to have a drink with somebody that I'm giving a lift. Okay, so, because this is the funny part about the story. Yeah, it's suspicious. She she picked this guy up and then they ended up going somewhere for a drink. Who? And they didn't say where they went, but she wandered up, you know, in the hotel room. Correct. He just stole. The and car. then he took the car after all of that, yeah. and then she filed the rape report. All I'm saying is, it's suspicious. It's a lot there. It's a lot. I, it's there. a lot there. It's a lot. To and unpack. Truth Nation, hey, look, y'all can unpack it, but I'm just throwing it out there. Right. Because all I'm saying is, ain't that you supposed to just. Get the Pick passenger, up, drop them off, drop them off yes. at the location, yes, and going on to the next. Anything extra, you can, especially mm. in the culture that that's that that we got what's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't safe. It just it's not safe to do that, and you shouldn't mix business with pleasure. No way. Hey, Liz, hey, if you got in the lift, somebody might try to you know take it easy. I'm that just saying they, they might they might say, can <laughs> you go out and can I have a can I have a day with Elizabeth? And I'd be like, no, that's a negative. Just drop me off. Again, if you want your tip, I advise you to just you know right. keep your eyes on if the road. If you want five stars, you know what I'm saying. Drop me off where I need to be, and I'm gonna tip you, and we are gonna keep it moving. Like it's a bar over here. 
again. I'm just saying, who? What's the logic here? I I can't see because it. I can't see it. Like, I can't see it. No, I got I'm stuff Ray to do. To I'm about this. to. I'm Ray Charles. I'm to working. This. That part. That mm. part. DJ Brother Z. How did this happen? How how can you go from picking somebody up to going to get a drink? That I don't know. I can't. Uh, yeah, I'm Ray Okay, to well, this I, I'm just throwing that out there because I, I, I'm not for people getting raped and at assaulted all. at all. At all. Never. I'm a rape survivor, so. All never. I'm saying is that okay, he was able to get on top of her, correct? While she was doing supposed to be doing her job. Whatever the conversation was led to them going to grab a drink. Correct. Which opened up the opportunity for him to... Drug her. Drug her. Why would, why would you allow him to give you a drink, you know? And it, and it all ended at a hotel. Yeah. That's it's a lot it's there. It's suspicious. Hey. I can't see it. I'm Ray mm. Charles to that, so... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It sounds questionable, Truth it Nation. Definitely. Hey, y'all need to chime in. I need Truth Nation to chime in and tell me what y'all think. 833-212-1017. Talk to text 833-212-1017. Or join us live as we broadcast on YouTube, 1017 The Truth, in the chat. And let us know how you think this took place. Uh, or oh, what's your thoughts? Would you... Yeah. Because when you meet random people, you can, hey. look, you can't just hang out with random people no more. At Tori, I used to bartend for a long time as my second job to pay for my daughter AAU fees and stuff like that. Like, I'm not talking to nobody. Like, you know how many dudes that came up in there trying to talk to me while I'm, this is my job. If you ain't tipping, you tripping. Take your drink, you know what I'm saying, and go on about your business. Mm. You know, like, you, you, you're not supposed to mix business with pleasure at all. All I'm saying is that when you meet new people, that's a lot of trust. Hey, I, I had a I, question. I was going to ask a question. When do you let somebody new come in your personal space? Man, that part. Wait, what is the time frame? Uh, hey, it depends. Or do you, you just going with the with the no, I, with the with the? Yeah, just I, whatever going to hey, happen. You just flying by the seat of your pants. Just for the record, I'm Generation X. Hey. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think, you know, I don't know what, because, you know, this era, they meeting online, you know, sliding in DMs and, you know, uh, hooking up through Instagram Messenger. You know what I'm saying? Like Felix on uh, uh, in the chat says she probably married or is with someone and got caught in the cookie jar. Mm, that's an option. I'm just saying it's just a lot it's going a lot, on with this. It's a lot going on that don't go together. It's questionable. It, it it's is. a lot of, you know, we got to see this play out in court. All facts. Because you know they got the, you know all these cameras out here. Man. So they, they you tracking. Know. Hey. But um, look, when we come back, we'll have the pop culture report. Truth Nation. Stay locked in right here on Tory Lowe. More of the Tory Low Show is next on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. At UW Credit Union, our home loans have everything you need for your next big step, including up to $750 off closing costs for all home buyers, and first-time buyers can save even more. So, if you're ready to trade roomies for more room, or your town home for an out-of-town home, UW Credit Union will be with you from start to furnished. UW Credit Union. Apply online today. Equal housing lender. Credit may be limited as required by program. Visit uwcu.org for details. Hey Milwaukee, my name is Martina and I'm with the Independent Living Supports Pilot Program team. We help adults 55 plus and those 18 plus living with disabilities, providing up to $7,200 for home services, medical equipment, home modifications, and more. There's less than 30 days left to sign up for this program. See if you qualify today. Call 414-289-6874. Again, that's 414-289-6874. This program is made possible by Milwaukee County and Wisconsin Department of Health and Human Services. It's time for Truth Takes, a thought-provoking commentary on the new 1017 The Truth. Here is Dr. Ken Harris with his truth. We're at a turning point in Milwaukee's political history as we go towards the end of this year and into 2025. 
The choices we make now will have a lasting impact on our city in the future. The impending financial difficulties necessitate a cooperative strategy that unites every aspect of our society to create long-term fixes. There has never been any question about the tenacity and the spirit of Milwaukeeans, and it is this strength that we need to utilize more than ever. Our future depends on creative problem solving, utilizing cross-border alliances, and being dedicated to making sure that all Milwaukeeans' voices, especially those of the historically marginalized, are acknowledged and heard during the policymaking process. Prioritizing equitable development will ensure that longstanding imbalances are addressed and economic growth will benefit all Milwaukee citizens. You know, it's essential to make investments in Milwaukee's public services, infrastructure, educational systems, in order to both prevent the budget crisis and create a more robust and energetic city. Now, as we traverse these obstacles, let us never forget that our community is our most valuable resource. And by working together, we can overcome any challenge and create a future that embodies Milwaukee's greatest qualities, which are resilience, being inclusive, and being a successful city. This has been Truth Takes on the new 1017 The Truth. Listen to The Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris, weekdays from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. This Associated Bank Sports Update on the award-winning 1017 The Truth is powered by ESPN Milwaukee. I'm Kyle Wallace. The Milwaukee Bucks are back in action tonight. They look to make it three in a row as they travel to Oklahoma to take on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Tip-off is set for 7 p.m., and that game can be heard on our sister station, 94.5 ESPN Milwaukee. The Milwaukee Brewers are back on the diamond today after their game was rained out yesterday against the Cincinnati Reds. They travel to Baltimore to take on the Orioles. This is going to be a big matchup of future stars of baseball as the Milwaukee Brewers outfielder Jackson Churio will go up against the Baltimore Orioles young outfielder Jackson Holiday. I'm telling you, this is a game you do not want to miss, so make sure you tune into our sister station, 620 WTMJ, with first pitch set for 605. This Sports Center update is presented by Associated Bank, proudly serving your hometown teams, member FDIC. This is the Tory Lowe Show on 1017 The Truth, the Truth app at 1017thetruth.com. Brothers, we put it's in rotation. Sometimes they move on, they still can't replace it. I lose a stone to get replaced the same day. Now my granny house for rapping on the stage. I want it all, I know these streets gonna have to feed me. You know I'm letting them hit it off the hall key. Got rich in this dig out, I clip a hole up 50. You try to keep up with me, gonna be OV. 101, 7 the truth, Tory Low, Tory Low Show. DJ Brothers Z on the ones and twos. Pop Culture Report brought to you by Truth Nation, social media sensation. Yes, sir. Jason Smith in the building. We right here. We right here with the full house. We, we, we going hey, crazy. And we got the lovely Elizabeth Brown in the hey, building. Yo. If y'all want to join us live as we broadcast live on 1017 the truth on YouTube, don't be afraid to tap into the chat. All right, or hit us up on the talk to text 833-212-1017. Jason. What's up, man? Your boy, OJ. Yeah, it's crazy because like I was sitting back there producing the show right. when the news dropped, but I didn't know. Like I saw him on the TV up there, but I thought it was just a normal story, right, like, right. just the news. Yeah. And then Kyle came in talking about OJ died. Passed away, yeah. And I'm like, Dang, like, and I, I'm obviously I wasn't like alive when, right, right. But I know the story. I seen the movies. I seen right. all of that. Like, I know about the book, yeah, Confessions of a Killer uh -huh. and stuff like that. Wow, wow. So I guess I was struggling with, okay, how do we react to this? Because I saw on social media some people were sending their condolences, yes. right, and yes. then some people was happy that you know he's what I'm saying? gone. Hey, Caitlyn Jenner chimed in and uh, she tweeted, "Good riddance." That's why. Wasn't she on the case? OJ Simpson. Wasn't she a part of the case? Who, I, well, no, here. she's the she she's, married she, Chris Jenner. She, yeah, she was and married Chris to Chris. And Chris was married to, to Robert Kardashian. Correct. And Robert Kardashian, they got famous oh, okay. because and, and Robert Kardashian. And they were saying that OJ might be 
uh, Chloe. Chloe, that pop. right? Yeah, that's his pop. Saying? So, so Chris, well, Caitlyn Jenner uh, stated good riddance, and then we had another guy tweeted after that. You next in line, Miss Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh wow. <laughs> Mm, they got on. I don't know why she tweeted that. Like social media is going tweeted. to light they her lighting, up. They lighting her up. And the thing is, OJ, he he was not guilty. Not he was, he was found, found not, not guilty. guilty. If the glove don't fit, you must acquit. That part. Because if this was the white people and they and they, and they was found <laughs> right. not guilty, they not about to keep harping on this situation. Oh, fine. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you. Like, I'm gonna tell you right now. I always say how R. R. White, how white OJ. people how white people feel about OJ. Is how black people feel about racism in America. Facts. Yes. Facts. You know, we we just feel like we can't trust it. Exactly. Can't trust it. And what happened? Because I was listening yeah. to Sherwin, or I was I don't know if I was talking to Sherwin, but he said he made a good point. He said white people are so mad about the OJ case because it's the first time the system didn't. Well, not the first time, but one of the first times the systems didn't go in their favor. Correct. Mm. It wasn't for their advantage so that's why they like the they, world was very divided at that point see you know, so, you yeah. know? so they more mad at the fact that the system didn't go on their side probably than oj even committing the murders correct mm. correct I'm, I'm gonna tell you this uh america loved oj facts mm. all facts america loved oj all facts then when that happened they with turned. the situation yeah they turned on oj but then oj was Able to get away. He got away. Like he was breaking those Man. tackles when he was playing Johnny in the NFL. He Shaking was able to, do, you know, do a spin move and hit it to the end zone. And it reminds Not me of, of, of the Diddy parties. Because the parties he was having at his house with all the police department, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody was like, he was, the people that was trying to, you know, uh, get him, you know, the time or whatever. Like they, he was having party with the police officers. It was so many things that was dropped. Like, you know. We're talking about with. OJ? OJ. Okay, yeah. The, I mean, the mansion parties. Oh, well, the officer the climbed the gate. That, see, this is where it all messed up. When the Mark Furman character jumped the Correct. gate and went in there, Correct. and he had the N-word in his background. Facts. Mm -hmm. That's all they needed. Yeah. That's what I heard. I heard that, yeah. like, Johnny Cochran, he, he got Cochran. yeah, he got voice Mark Furman, audio doubt. files of the dude saying the N-word. <laughs> right. And that just tainted the whole thing. It case. sure yeah. did. I mean, if he had just waited. Hold on. And see, if, if he had just waited, like, for the regular process. Yeah. But he did what he would. He, he used his white privilege. Well, he, what, what, what I call the wild cowboy uh, syndrome, <laughs> where they want to act cowboy and, and you know, and, and try to go do the rodeo on their own, trying yeah. to go in there, you know, like uh, Van Damme mm -hmm. and Steven Seagal <laughs> and do it all by themselves, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And all he had to do was wait and go in there so and when and none yeah. yeah should, that, that was the benefit of that. It really OJ probably would have lost if that wouldn't happen. Because, hey, uh, like, uh, man, from the stuff that I've seen, I mean, it is Tell evidence, me. like, for him doing man. it. Right. But no, it don't. He got, he was not convicted. He At got found not guilty. At all. So if the glove don't fit. You must quit. You must quit. I, I, I mean, hey. it's just, it just, he it didn't go to jail is. for that. He went all to jail fact. for, like, Las Vegas robbing a his, his, something. His, stealing his own memorabilia. Yeah, like, like, that's why he went to jail. <laughs> okay. Not killing nobody. Got, Look, let me you tell know? you something. They set OJ up, you know. That's why you can't have. That's why you can't have buddies, you know. That's why your buddies, you know, they can turn on you. Cause the thing is, his buddy came and got him and geeked him up to go over there. That's wild. I was doing research on that book that he made, and it turns out, I don't know if he was actually the author. I think he had a ghostwriter. Yeah, because like it was somebody who was saying that they pay him six hundred thousand dollars to put his name on the book or something like that. Well, you know, it's history with that in America. Oh, like it's a lot of people. A lot of people write books like that. So, so I wonder, like, it wasn't OJ's like idea to make the book. He was approached. He was approached. He just took the money. Yeah, he just didn't care. Probably. He was the face of it, like Diddy was for, oh, for Ciroc. Ciroc. He was like, they already think I'm a murderer, so oh, who cares? Right. Oh, like, again, it was a payday for him. Yeah, 600 k yeah. And then he spent, he did spend nine years in prison, but yeah, he did. With, for his own stuff. But when he got out, he went right back to the to golf same. course and, oh, yeah. and messing with white women. He was chilling. <laughs> that's <laughs> that was that's all he did. Take. Yeah, the show was. Hey. He went right back to He was chilling. And they hated him. They they did not like OJ. Oh, but it was, it's still a lot of white people that was dealing with OJ. All facts. So they all didn't hate him, obviously. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially the ones they was partying with him. Oh, yeah. No, well, they, I mean, they was happy you he know, was out. It, it probably was a, you know, because usually it's that deep, dark hatred that's in the background. But, mm -hmm. I, you know, I deal with you 
to see I, I how see. I can use you. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's a good point. He just got out. You know what I'm saying? You got to just slide back in, make that, that good that connection, part. make that good. And network. nobody knew he had cancer. They kept that no, off the they radar. Kept that off that the was radar. random. And he didn't even die yesterday. He died on the 10th. Yeah. Like we found out he died right. a day later. Yeah. But the thing is, he had just did a podcast with he Mace. Did. Oh, and Cameron. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was on. He was on. He it was on. He was on. It is yeah, what it is. He was looking super skinny. I gotta watch right. that. Yeah, I gotta watch that. But he was laughing know. and stuff like. So he that was like a couple months ago. All oh, facts. Damn. But he had a good life. So you know. Oh, salute. he lived seventy six. Well, you know. My, I'm, gonna get my, I'm gonna give my condolences to I, to the family. We already. I say it's, I rest mean, in I, peace. Yeah. yeah. Hey, look. I'm gonna say this. You know, how how people feel about OJ Simpson. He was. Not guilty. Facts. They say, they say we need to go by the law. So That's what they the say. Law. Let's go by the law. And, but see, the thing is. The goalposts is always moved. It, you know, <laughs> they don't understand this. It, it divided America. It did. You know, but it was happy. We, we was cheering because we finally saw a system that didn't move in our way mm -hmm. go in the favor of a black person. Right. And one of the most like racially charged situations. Oh, yeah, without question. And shout out to Johnny Cochran. May he rest in peace. Hey. Hey, he was a lawyer for everybody. Man. He got everybody on. He, 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 like, what? who didn't he get off? Come on. Hey. Snoop? And MJ? then he died after he said he was finna get some attorneys together. That's crazy. To come at America about black reparations. Right. And then he all of a sudden died. Then he all of a sudden died. Man. Of an aneurysm. That oh, part. man. He probably was thinking too much about the case. <laughs> But uh, also, something is going on with the Lunchables. Yeah, and this is near and dear to my heart, man. <laughs> I grew up Lunchables. Man. Not the Lunchables. The Lunchables. The Lunchables. I grew up eating Lunchables. The ham and cheese. I go to the store. Turkey. I gave my kids you know, Lunchables. I, got the, I like the turkey. I like the turkey with the little cheese, with the crackers. The, the little crackers. pizza ones, too. What? The little pizza ones. Because I used had to the send them to tenders. my daughter when she went on field trips. That's what, exactly. That's what I was getting. <laughs> I was getting the Lunchable. I need a quick little snack. Oh, with I'm going to stop getting a Lunchable. Man, with the drink, What's with the little cookie. What's wrong with the Lunchable, Jason Smith? <sighs> don't hurt, tell me. It hurts me to say, but the lunch of bulls got lead. They got yeah, they got lead. They got to get taken off of. They're the they're money. trying to take them from schools. Oh, they don't wow. want kids to eat them. They got lead. They got high poison, um, high sodium. What in there? High sodium, high lead, which can lead to obviously. Why are they lead promoting poisoning. this for the kids? They, they, they know, knew the, you telling me that you know they it had they that the lunch bulls had lead in it? They had to know. You know I, oh, they know. Well, it took them so Come long on. to find out though. Come on, lunch bulls been out for I don't Come know on. how long. I, I'm just saying. How we just now finding out about these? This How do you get lead in the cracker? The same. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> How do we do it? Wait a right minute, now? is it lead in the crackers or is it lead in the meat? They the, just said the, the whole meal. They and the a, cheese? Are they yeah. literally putting it in there? What, how the lead get in it? Why does it need to be in there? Again, I'm just saying. First of all, let's remember that it's lead in the baby formula. Right. I, I, I mean, I understand a lot of that, but the yeah. Lunchables. It's a cracker. It's a cracker. <laughs> it's, a, it's just a cracker. It's a turkey. Right, it's a like, cheese. Where is the lead coming get, from? That's what I'm saying. Hey. I can see how it could get into uh, baby food because the they, machine cause they're using the water. They're probably know, get, using get tap shards, water. Shards hey. from the machine. Maybe. Who knows? I mean, who knows? It's America. But again. You can't chew on a cracker. With, I mean, I'm just saying. The, the question like, that I have, you know, what is the FDA's job? What are they doing? Like, what how did this doing? happen? That's why come I just on. don't understand. How did it happen? And how are they getting paid? How is this going so long? How come nobody's losing their job over come, this? Come on. <laughs> because the, come it's on. a lot of children now yes. that's negatively affected by this yes. product. There's probably a lot of kids who actually got sick, but they didn't know it was from the Lunchable. Facts. So they, they probably thinking they got some suspicious unknown illness. With, with ADHD. Or something else. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm come saying? On. Come on. Mess the kids up. Messing them up and on purpose. And then go wait to say, oh, now we got to take these off of mm. the shelves. We can't serve these in lunchrooms. That part. I don't know. That's very scary I've been buying my daughter Lunchables, like, forever. So, <laughs> I, I, honestly, does that mean the brand got to go? Like, does the whole company got to? I would think that there should be a lawsuit. It got to be something because who going to keep buying Lunchables now? I'm not. I don't know. Like, if buying but, Lunchables. Forget who buying Lunchables. What about the Lunchables that's already in people's refrigerators right All now? Facts. Oh, my God. 
Oh, and if they ain't and watching they the not news, cheap no more. Because I remember <laughs> they used to be, if you don't get the one with the, the juice, they was like 99 oh, cents. Yeah. That's what I was getting. You know what I'm saying? And then the one that had the juice used to be like two two dollars, mm-hmm. almost three dollars or something. So yeah, them the ones I was getting. Because I was, <laughs> God get the ones without the drink because it was so right. quick. One little dollar, grab that. I get a water or something. You know I'm cool. What I'm wow. Man. Yeah. I got I, I I I don't know to feel guilty or not, because I didn't fed my children in lunchables <laughs> all I'm these years. You. Facts. From now on, parents definitely go start feeling. I mean, they not go buy them because Dang. you're not going to purposely. And well, the, give is the damage kids already done though? The damage it, for it's some definitely people, done. for for a lot of people, it's already done. Because my daughter been eating Lunchables since she was like two. Man, if I didn't hear this story, I probably would have got a Lunchable. <laughs> Still to this day, I'm not gonna lie to you. If I did not know about this story, Dang. so I, I, whoever broke this story, hey, they did a great job. For real, where's that. the lawsuits? Man, uh, you think the Lunchables affected your life? Did I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just don't know how yet. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe, exactly. Yeah. Maybe we need to go and get a checkup. I'm can we do it? I, I need to go to see. Like, I need hey. to go to the doctor to see if I can have, if I got some lead in my system or something. Because right. I was eating them boys a lot. So I, yeah. I don't know what. Before what they dissolve do. the LLC, before they dissolve the company. Exactly. Yes. Before the company go away. Right. And we you can't, can't get nothing. no money. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that sucks. They got to figure something out. Hey, look, when we come back. Well, more Pop Culture Report with Jason Smith. We got Elizabeth Brown in the building. Truth Nation. They like them right here on Tory Lowe. The Tory Lowe Show returns after this on 1017 The Truth, the Truth app at 1017thetruth.com. Truth Nation, Gruber Law Offices, and The Truth have raised the stakes for this year. The One Call That's All Gruber Cash Giveaway is now a 5K giveaway. Yes, you heard it right. $5,000 giveaway. Every weekday on 1017 The Truth, you will have the chance to be entered to win the 5K giveaway. Listen to The Truth for the One Call That's All cue to call for your chance to win $5,000. Gruber Law Offices, One Call That's All. Visit 1017thetruth.com for official contest rules. Are you or anyone you know looking for a job? Direct Connect NKE is a social media style platform that empowers you to grow your social network, find career opportunities, and connect with career specialists for success. Visit joindcmke.com today to learn how you can create a profile, upload your resume, and find access to information about jobs, job training, hiring events, and more. DCMKE is locally focused and equips you to grow your social capital and find opportunities that match your career interests. Here's how it works. Join DCMKE and their partner organizations and follow the employees that you find interesting. Then meet the career advocates in DCMKE's community to start forming meaningful career relationships. And lastly, scroll through your feed to find and apply to new career opportunities and get matched to openings by career advocates. Yeah, it's that easy. Access to great opportunities at the tips of your fingers. Visit joindcmke.com today and connect your dream to reality. That's joindcmke.com. Happy Financial Literacy Month from Educators Credit Union. If you're dreaming of financial freedom, new ways to pay down debt, or tips to invest in your future, Educators Credit Union can help. They offer budgeting tools, personal finance courses, and debt solutions to turn your financial dreams into reality. Learn more at ecu.com. That is ecu.com. Membership at Educators Credit Union is open to anyone who lives or works in southeastern Wisconsin, and they are federally insured by by NCUA. How much does it cost to talk to Gruber Law Offices after a serious crash? It's free. Yes, free. As in it won't cost you anything to speak with us. Not sure if you have a case? Call our team at Gruber Law Offices today. Your first call and your first consultation are always free. And you'll never pay us a fee until we win your case. If you've been seriously injured, call Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Life's better with American Family Insurance because our home policies help protect your dreams and come with peace of mind. Save up to 25% by bundling home, auto, and life. American Family Insurance. Get a quote, find an agent at amfam.com. Products not available in every state. Discounts may not apply to all coverages on an auto or home policy. Discounts do not apply to life insurance policies. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating companies, American Family Life Insurance Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. 
You are listening to The Tory Low Show on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Just come outside for the night. Take your time. Get your life. Tell the time. One on one, seven the truth, Tory Low, Tory Low Show. DJ Brother Z on the ones and twos in the building with Truth Nation social media sensation Jason Smith. Yes, sir. Pop culture report. Pop culture. What else is going on in these pop culture streets? Now, this is something a little bit more serious. Well, a lot of bit more serious. And, 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 and from the standpoint of like humans, basically. So, basically, a teacher has been accused of sex trafficking students at the school she was working for. Mm. Peer predator. So far, we have three identified victims, fifteen, age 15-year-old, 15 16-year-old, 17. and 17-year-old. And not only that, she wasn't the only person involved that part, with this. come on. Come on. Her son. Her 21-year-old son. With her Correct. 21-year-old son and sex trafficking three girls that went to this high school that she was working at. Correct. What in the world is going on with the world? Mm. It, it's a daily reminder uh, of these teachers that's feasting on these kids. And, and what's crazy, she's a she's a predator for real because a she predator. she was she's a cosmetology teacher at the high school. First of all, um, representing is... you know black girls, and that's her victims. It's so. Wild. She and was. She, she was supposed to be out. some type of mentor toward the black girl, right? But as she, cosmetologist, yes, like giving yeah. them, teaching them how to Tips do hair and stuff, and stuff like, that. like that, you know. Uh, but she was, she was targeting girls that she knew was troubled. That's why she got in there, so Correct. she can figure out. And this was in Houston. This happened yeah, in Houston. Houston. Yeah. This was a teacher out of Houston, and the thing is, when the predators identify, Correct. like a group of, you know. A place where they can get their victims. It's a playground. It's a playground. Like some people will become a minister because all facts. People bring their kids to church. P R E Y. Look what happened to the to the Boy Scouts of America. That part. Some people became counselors. Correct. Because that's where all the boys was going. Correct. So here we go with a person that was involved or wasn't too shy from doing human trafficking. Correct. Got around a bunch of girls that was, uh, you know, wanting to get into cosmetology. Or that was running away from home, and she right. gave them the space supposed to be a right. safe space. That's what she told them. Yeah, she correct. told them that, like, listen, she looked for girls who run away from home, run away, had trouble mm-hmm. households. You know the the typical right. yeah. story. The ones that's acting out. Yeah, again, she got firsthand experience. Exactly, and she promised them a uh, safe place to stay. Correct. Promised them food. Promised them all of that. And they geek. They like, oh, I for trust real. this lady. She's a mentor. Huh, let me just go. They already ran away from home. And then this happens Pushing with her into prostitution. son. And her son. 21. How sick. How sick. And she had it set up to where they was like, they can show prostitution fees. Correct. You know, from the operation. So she's calling us up. Yeah. She's like a madam. Mm. And so her son was, was involved pimping. in this. Her son, her son was a pimp right with her. And I'm trying to figure out... <laughs> Why are you allowing your son to even be in this situation? Now, when your son gets 30, 40 years old, how, what is going on? What's the thought process? It's a part of a grooming process, you know. Um, so you have the son because then he can play like he's the boyfriend. Mm. You yeah, the younger, kid, the, younger, the younger kid, oh, yeah. the younger guy, that's why they keep young guys around. Correct. It's like a fish on a hook or a worm on a hook, you know, they fall in love with the son, and he say, you know, uh, I want you to do this. If you do this, if you really love me type, Dang. you understand oh, what wow. I'm saying? Like, no, and, yeah, and that it. opens it up. It, it's real. It's real. And she's definitely a predator. So how much more of this is happening? Like, we hear a about lot. this story, but Every what about day the it's stories? Every day a teacher feeding on our children. So Literally. how do we trust? How do so we can't even send our kids to school? What do we do? How do homeschool. we homeschool? You got to homeschool home at this school. point. I'm, I'm not gonna say got to, but I, it's a great choice to homeschool at this point oh, if thanks. you hey, fear I'm safety concerns. Yeah. Hey, I, my sister for the last three years. Too. Yeah. See, the thing is, when people start to not do what you think or idealistically need to happen for your family. 
for your family. Then after that, what you do is you you make the moves. Mm. You make the moves to make the changes. And once you make the moves to make the changes, it, it is what it is at that yeah. point. No matter if it's homeschool or, you know, moving them to a, a private thing, a private function, you don't have to just let it happen. I, and I'll be scared to send my kids to a private school, too. Hey. I feel like, hey, I, private schools might be worse than public schools with this. Well, I'll tell you this. You got you to gotta do what's best for your family. And, and at the time, sometimes people have connections and things like that that they can move into or mm -hmm. they have resources where they can have a family member do the homeschool idea. But if I, if I had a kid in public school... I would be up there all the time. I'll be, I, I'll be sitting in there. I'll be up there all the time. I would. They would. I would be so active. Yeah, and, they, and that's how they, I was. They would think that I was a part of the school. I was so active, and I was active for other people, kids too. So what? What needs to happen is again those of us that understand what's going on in the schools. Because again, when you open it up, you got you know they allowing sexy red to go to schools. Yeah, she's pushing. Porn. Yeah. You understand what and I'm she saying? she's walking in and got her middle finger up, gone uh, They know naked. that black children are testing low mm -hmm. on scores mm -hmm. when it comes to math and English. Mm -hmm. So that opens them up even easier for them to be easily manipulated by somebody who has that education and everything else. So I would say, just like an AAU, you know, like when I couldn't go on certain trips, somebody that I trusted, mm -hmm. I would let, allow my daughter to go with their parents or... You know, I'm taking some other people's kids when it's time to homeschool. You have to use the village idea mm -hmm. because it's good teachers out here, too, that the families can get together and pay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This hey, person to yeah. tutor. That's a smart. And, you know, set up virtual. Oh, yeah. That's a great. I didn't even think about that. This is a new day. Right. Exactly. Day but but what I'm saying is your job to put your children in the best space Facts. for your ideas for your family. Yeah, I don't know. And that, that woman did not put her son at all in the mm. best spot at for all. success at all. And that's what's sad. Hey, look, Jason Smith, I appreciate you for coming through with the Pop Culture Report of on course. this Friday. I, I'm going to see you in the morning. Y'all, you going to see me in the morning. Um, early, right and early. In the morning. I'm about to go finish packing, making sure everything good for it right now when Let's I leave go. here. Hey, we rolling. We, we gonna, rocking we and rolling. We going to be rocking and rolling Free all cousins? tomorrow. Hey, Definitely. look, better Truth bread, Community better Cleanup tomorrow. Come on now. Powerful. Powerful. Tap in. Hey, look. Thank you for that pop culture report. Yes, sir. All right. When we come back, we got a guest in the building, Truth Nation. We got U.S. Senator Ron Johnson in the building. Stay locked in right here on Tory Lowe. Truth Nation, join the Truth Team on Saturday, April 13th for our third annual Tory Lowe Community Cleanup. We want you to go to truthcommunitycleanup.com to sign up and be a volunteer to help keep Milwaukee clean. Everyone who joins will get a free lunch provided by Cousin Subs. Register today at truthcommunitycleanup.com. That is truthcommunitycleanup.com to clean and beautify our city together. The Truth Community Cleanup is sponsored by Cousin Subs and Safe and Sound. 1017 The Truth and Associated Bank have teamed up for our Black-Owned Business Give Back. Each quarter, we'll be giving away $6,000 worth of free commercial advertising for three months to five Black businesses. To sign up for your business's chance to win $6,000 of commercial campaign marketing on the award-winning 1017 The Truth, visit blackbusinessgiveback.com. That's blackbusinessgiveback.com. Let's rebuild our community's backbone through exposure on the truth. For official rules, head to blackbusinessgiveback.com. Associated Bank, member FDIC. One smile is great, but one smile in a community of smiles is so much better. A smile has a secret power that most people don't know about. A smile multiplies. It spreads from one person to the next, stretching across entire groups of people. Smile Train knows this and is proud to be creating a wave of smiles across the cleft lip and palate community in over 70 countries. Patients, doctors, advocates, fundraisers. Collectively, our smiles are a celebration of the transformed lives of over 1.5 million children. Learn how Smile Train is helping the cleft lip and palate community at smiletrain.org slash learn. Smile Train, changing the world one smile at a time. I'm Shanola Hampton. Every day, millions of people face hunger. Today, 
I will share with you some of their experiences. I'm stuck between paying for medications or paying for food. John from Maine. After paying my bills, I can buy groceries. It's sad to say, food comes last. Alice from Oregon. I thought pantries were for less fortunate people, but anybody could be less fortunate in a day or even a second. Claire from Virginia. The Feeding America network of food banks helps provide over six billion meals to people in need each year. No one should have to worry where their next meal will come from. Together, we can end hunger. Learn more at feedingamerica.org. Listen to the man who tells you exactly how he sees it. The Truth in the Afternoon with Dr. Ken Harris every weekday from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. on 101.7 FM, 1510 AM, WGKB Waukesha and W269DL Milwaukee, a locally owned Good Karma brand station. Justice Wisconsin, the truth, the most requested advocate in the state. 101.7 FM, the movement continues. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Milwaukee, stand yeah. up, yeah. stand up. It's Tory Lowe, the truth, from one to four. We about that action, so tap in and let's go. Uh, we want that justice, we want all the smoke. From Monday through Friday, trying to bring the city hope. Yeah, Tory Lowe from one to four, Monday through Friday, let's go. We about that action from the block, and we ready, let's go. Tap in, and it ain't no holding back. We ready, we ready. 101.7 The Truth. Tory Lowe, Tory Lowe Show, live from American Family Insurance Studio at the Avenue. The movement continues. The marathon continues right here on 1017 The Truth. Thank you for joining me for the second hour of the Tory Lowe Show. And we got guests. We got guests. We got U.S. Senator Ron Johnson in the building. How you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks Welcome. for Thanks for having me on. And we got Elizabeth Brown joining me in the studio today. Hey, yes. all week. All week. Uh, all week long. All week. Elizabeth yes. Brown in the studio. And look, Ron Johnson, the RNC is coming up. What should we look forward to for, from the RNC right here in the city of Milwaukee? Well, I just walked by a gentleman who's going to be providing some security. So, uh, you know, one of the reasons the RNC chose Milwaukee is the DNC had already committed to Milwaukee and all the plans were in place. You know, the hotels rooms were identified, the security plans were in place. I mean, the vendors in many cases were selective. So it was just very easy to kind of slot us in. So even though COVID cost the city of Milwaukee, the economic opportunity of the DNC, I, I thought it was pretty decent of the, of the RNC to take advantage of that situation and, and make sure that uh, Milwaukee uh, realized the benefits, just the economic benefits. But yeah. what I'm hoping the community sees is that, you know, the principles that guide the Republican Party, freedom, mm -hmm. right. you know, opportunity for all. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully people will, will not see the Republican Party through the, the lens, I would say the reasonably liased, uh, biased lens of the mainstream media, but you know, for what we actually represent. And again, I think, I think we represent the values that are universal globally in the yeah. U.S. Uh, uh, through all demographics. I mean, we... we we represent what made this country great. It's it's freedom that has allowed people to dream and aspire and build and create. Uh, the kind of opportunity not, hasn't always been equal, but uh, that's certainly the, the goal that we all share is equal opportunity for everyone. Well, we started out as Republicans with the black community. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is why is there a disconnect now many times when it comes to uh, blacks in large you know, communities like Milwaukee and the Republican Party in the state of Wisconsin? Why? Where's the the yeah. difference? Why why are we not making those connections many times? Uh, I mean, you, you go back just in terms of history, in terms of which programs, you know, Democrats supported versus Republicans didn't support. Uh, I, I would argue, you know, in terms of the entire welfare state. Now, listen, you spend trillions of dollars, you're going to be benefiting people, and I, I think Republicans like Democrats want to help people that can't help themselves. We want to help people help themselves, but we don't want to create dependency. We don't want programs that, you know, because of different rules, part of those programs divide families. I think that's one of the real tragedies of, of our welfare state is, you know, the rules that are set up, you know, fathers can't be with, right. with the, and so we've, we've 
in many respects, divided uh, African-American communities and families. So, again, I think you have to just look at the reality of the situation and uh, recognize that, in general, uh, the goals in life, safety, security, opportunity, you know, being able to take care of your family, these are things we all share. We, we agree on these. Now, right. we can certainly def- differ in terms of exactly how you achieve those goals, but, you know, listen, in business, you don't get very far arguing with people, right? Correct. Business is finding areas of agreement. I think the same thing's true in politics. I've been saying that ever since I got to Washington, D.C. Let's, let's not concentrate on things that divide us. Mm-hmm. Let's focus on the areas of agreement. If we do that, first and foremost, you find out that some of those divisions really shouldn't be dividing us anyway. They're, they're mm-hmm. much smaller in comparison to the larger issues. And I got a question. When we talk about job creation, when we talk about uh, living wage job situations in the state of in the state of Wisconsin, especially in the city of Milwaukee, and particularly on the north side of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, why don't we see uh, the job growth of, of living wage ideas in our community? Why do you think that's going on? Well, I mean, again, you have decades worth of transition where you had, you know, these... these A lot of industries left. Very large, you know, very union-based, but, you know, s- industries go, by the, go, go the way of the dinosaur sometimes, or... Mm-hmm. You know, quite honestly, uh, unions sometimes price themselves out of the marketplace as well. They, you know, they have to compete. Uh, so again, th- there's a, a multitude of factors. It gets to be pretty complex. Now, I would argue uh, what is not going to bring industry back is government. Mm. Uh, government doesn't create things. Government doesn't create jobs. Uh, government hampers uh, those individuals who want to risk their capital. Who, they want who, you to depend on them. Many oh, times when I see government exactly. programs... A lot of the nonprofits, they they are, they thrive off the brokenness many times. You know, we we had a, a participant in the Joseph Project one time described to her alumni class said, you know, the, I've been involved in dozens. May, that may be an overstatement, but a lot of different government funded, government sponsored jobs programs. So the difference between those programs and the Joseph Project is that the people of the Joseph Project are just concerned about me. Mm-hmm. The people involved in the other, not that they're good people, but they're all concerned about the government grants. They're, they're all concerned about their organization. And, and, and that's kind of what you're talking about. You know, government's all about growing government. Uh, people who want to grow government are all about, you know, having government's largesse sprinkled around to other people. Well, that comes, has come from someplace. Right. And the taxes that fund government come from the productive sectors of our, of our economy. And the higher you tax people, the more you regulate business – the less incentive you create for people to have businesses. I mean, in particularly at the lower level. Right. Um, I, I'm a small company guy. I, I, I'm not a big fan of business, big business. You know, you need big businesses sometimes to do big things. But I think there's been way too much consolidation of industries. Uh, so all the small businesses are being bought up by these big conglomerates. Right. That's not healthy. Mm-hmm. Then they control everything. When you've got a bunch of small businesses, you've got them competing not only for customers, you have them the competing for honest. labor. It keeps right. the prices honest. Absolutely. So, right. listen, I, I'm a champion of small business. And, you know, when, when you're talking about, uh, you know, if you're an economically disadvantaged community, you want small businesses to thrive. Right. You don't want government saying, oh, you can't do that until you get a permit. You need Correct. you need 10 permits before you can do something then. You know, w- and, if we're, we're and, and if we ain't buddies, I might not get it after that. If we ain't, if I'm not in your, you know, your clique. I may not get it. And, and where do all those regulations and permits, where do those ideas come from that? A lot of times big business, mm-hmm. they want those as a barrier to entry. So well, I don't want a competition you know, for, for my hairdresser business or whatever. It's, so you have to really understand the rent seeking, the, the way bigger businesses will utilize government to keep out competition and, and crush the smaller guy. I mean, in the classic examples during COVID, mm-hmm. you know, the big, there was a massive wealth transfer, something like $4 trillion from the lower and middle income, middle to class the to, to, to the, well, first of all, to the very wealthy people. You right, know, correct. You know, the Jeff Bezos of the world, you know, the, mm-hmm. the big tech social media giants. Right. Yeah, and there was a lot of wealth transfer to big pharma as well. But it was the small guys that got crushed. Remember, Walmart never shut down. Correct. Smaller stores, Mom, shut down, right? yeah, and, th- and those people lost their life savings. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll say this. For those that are in the community that's listening right now, what would you say to them about going out to the RNC and checking out what's going on, what, what the Republicans have to offer at the RNC this year? So come out and, and talk to us. Okay, let, let's, as a community, come, first of all, 
be Wisconsinites. Right. Now, I remember Charles, Charles Krauthammer one time in Fond du Lac gave a speech. He said, you always hear Minnesota nice. I say Wisconsin even nicer. And that's just true. You know, we as Wisconsinites are nice people. Let's show that. Let's come on into Milwaukee. Or if you live in Milwaukee, mingle. You know, say hi to the, the people visiting from, from out of state. I hear it all the time. You know, as I travel around the, the, the country, people say, no, I went to the Green Bay Packer game. I was wearing my fill in the blank, Dallas Cowboys ball, mm-hmm. you know, and people were so nice to me. You know, I would say it helped if we beat you. But again, Wisconsinites have the reputation for being nice. So let's be nice and, and listen to, you know, have the discussion, you know, have the dialogue. Uh, try not to argue, but don't, don't be afraid of it. I mean, again, I don't agree with anybody 100% of the time. But if you focus on what do we agree on, focus on that first. And I, I really do think the areas of disagreement will pale in comparison to the large, the large issues that we agree on. Now, I want to, you mentioned the Joseph Project. And for those who don't know what that is, because I don't believe that's being promoted, but the Joseph Project is a project that was started by a local uh, pastor who passed away. And that was uh, giving opportunities to people to come get some training and get uh, shipped out to jobs. Well, so how it all came about is when I first became a U.S. Senator, traveling all over the place, coming to Milwaukee, meeting with the aldermen, and, 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 and you obviously have higher levels of unemployment and less opportunity here in Milwaukee, and you have all this opportunity throughout the state of Wisconsin. I mean, mm-hmm. back then, people didn't have, people couldn't hire enough people. I'm going, how can you make these connections? Mm-hmm. So then I hired a staff member, Orlando Owens, who's a deacon in the uh, yeah, we know. In, you know, mm-hmm. Ch- Church God of Christ. He knew Pastor Jerome Smith of the Greater Praise Church of God in Christ. Uh, he was also up in Sheboygan where the uh, Sheboygan uh, Economic Opportunity Organization, they're posting like three or 4,000 jobs. And it just, ideas started flowing. Again, I've always been talking about you know, how can we make that commi- connection Well, they made the connection. And so they came up with a pretty simple program. It's, it's four days, mm-hmm. uh, three hours a day training, primarily instill the importance of attitude, the commitment to succeed. We have businesses come in. Uh, they train people how to be interviewed, how to, you know, the techniques for if you've got a checkered pass, how to put that behind, mm-hmm. own up to it, but then move forward. And then on Friday, there are real job interviews and people get jobs. And I, I'd like to say that we've provided tens of thousands of jobs, but we've had thousands of people get employed. And one of the Joseph Project participants, because I often would say, I wish I could say thousands of people had their lives transformed. He goes, Senator, people have. It's not just those of us who have gotten jobs. It's our family. It's our friends. It's everybody that it, you know, our experience is connected to. Mm-hmm. You've transformed their lives as well. So, listen, again, I wish it was tens of thousands of people. You know, we certainly rely on the Church of God in Christ to help promote this thing. We've given you cards. Right now, our, our, biggest, I'm a hand them out. our biggest problem is getting participants. I'm a hand people them out. People want to come and, you know, learn about attitude, learn about uh, I'm, a, I'm hand them out because I think that it's a lot of people that when they talk about jobs, when they talk about things that they want to do, I think that they don't know the Joseph Project may may not be available for them. No, it's still there. And by the way, you knew Pastor Smith, right? Yeah, I knew Pastor so Smith. So his wonderful wife, First Lady yeah. Markeitha, she, you know, she could have gone to a shell. I mean, just devastated by the loss of her husband. She didn't. She has taken upon herself to continue the Joseph Project with help help of my staff, the help of all these volunteer business organizations. So the Joseph Project is moving forward through through her courage and tenacity. I mean, it's, it's you know, Pastor Smith was wonderful. First Lady Smith is wonderful as well. I mean, these are, these are some wonderful people. Hey, look, when we come back, we got to run the break, but when we come back, I want to talk about this open border that's going on and what should we be concerned about when it comes to our tax dollars and these uh, open border ideas that we're seeing. And I know you're in the meetings. <laughs> so I want to understand what we may not know about what's going on with the with the border. Sure. Hey, look, Truth Nation, we're in the building with U.S. Senator Ron Johnson right now and Elizabeth Brown. We'll be back with more conversations. Stay locked in right here on Tory Lowe. Don't touch that dial. The Tory Low Show will be right back on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. 
Truth Nation, Dr. Ken Harris here, and I'm excited about the Truth Partnership with Versity. There is a serious need for blood donations in the black community, and Versity wants to bring awareness to this because it's their mission to improve patient outcomes, advance the field of personalized medicine, and strengthen the health of communities everywhere. This is why you should tune in every month when a representative from Versity joins the truth to share about what they're doing to make a difference in our community. This is Community Heartbeat, presented by Outreach Community Health Centers on 1017 The Truth. There are individuals in our community who certainly need health services, a variety of health services. What if they do not have health insurance? How can you serve that population? Our community health center allows patients to come to our clinic, regardless of their ability to pay, and that's part of our federal funding. You can come to our clinic and be seen based on what we call a poverty level. So anyone 200% or below a poverty level can be seen in our clinic for anywhere from $20 to $40 for that visit. So in other words, if your visit is a $400 visit and you fall on our sliding scale where you pay $20 for your visit, you would not be responsible for the $400. You'd only be responsible for $20 for that visit. Also, our pharmacy prescriptions are very, very affordable as well. Where you would normally pay, let's say for an inhaler, $240 a month for an inhaler, at our facility that would cost you about $4 or $5. It's very good to know you guys have a sliding scale that makes it very, very affordable. Happy Financial Literacy Month from Educators Credit Union. If you're dreaming of financial freedom, new ways to pay down debt, or tips to invest in your future, Educators Credit Union can help. They offer budgeting tools, personal finance courses, and debt solutions to turn your financial dreams into reality. Learn more at ecu.com. That is ecu.com. Membership at Educators Credit Union is open to anyone who lives or works in southeastern Wisconsin, and they are federally insured by by NCUA. Hey Milwaukee, my name is Martina and I'm with the Independent Living Supports Pilot Program team. We help adults 55 plus and those 18 plus living with disabilities, providing up to $7,200 for home services, medical equipment, home modifications, and more. There's less than 30 days left to sign up for this program. See if you qualify today. Call 414-289-6874. Again, that's 414-289-6874. This program is made possible by Milwaukee County and Wisconsin Department of Health and Human Services. Truth Nation. It's a big week for First Stage. The classic book series is coming to a live stage near you. Diary of a Wimpy Kid musical is coming to life at the First Stage Children's Theater in downtown Milwaukee. Bring the family to see this classic book turned into a musical by visiting firststage.com the show runs at Marcus Performing Arts Center from April 6th to May 5th get your tickets today to see the Diary of a Wimpy Kid musical by visiting firststage.com for tickets this is the Tory Low Show on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app and 1017thetruth.com Having the truth, Tory Low, Tory Low show, DJ Brother Z on the ones and twos. In the building with me, U.S. Senator Ron Johnson. Now, you know, a lot of times when we talk about tax dollars and 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 the border and the illegal uh, migrants that are coming across, and we see these videos, you're in a lot of these meetings. What's going on? First of all, I have to say, we're talking through the break, and all of a sudden, we're on the air. Right. <laughs> I don't know how you can concentrate that well. Um, well, you know, unfortunately, we have this idiotic partisan divide on securing our border. It didn't used to be that way. You know, back in 2006, when we had not even close to as big a problem as we had, you know, there was a bipartisan effort, I think 80-some senators, including Barack Obama and Biden and Schumer. They all voted for the 2006 Secure Fence Act because it, it only makes sense. If you have a nation, you have to have sovereignty. You have to have a secure border. You know, we are a nation of immigrants, and I completely agree. You know, A nation of immigrants, our diversity, uh, that, that has made our nation. It really has made us strong. I mean, every wave of immigrant has always come to, to America for what America 
offers opportunity. They've worked their tail off. That's over over centuries. That's happened. So you know we need a legal immigration system. What is so troubling about what Biden did? And he, he you know Trump had the executive authority. He closed the border by and large. Got it under control. Closed the border. Biden used the exact same executive authority. Opened it up. So he wants an open border. The, the only explanation I have for it is he really does want to you know, fl- flood the zone. Uh, illegal immigrants are counted in the census, so it's going to plump it's going to plump up the number of members of Congress in generally Democrat areas. Yeah, I, I think where are they getting the money from to fund all well, of yeah, this? Well, th- th- we're just printing it. That's the problem. <laughs> Do you realize the dollar you held at the start of the Biden administration is worth eighty three point eight cents now? Mm-hmm. That damage has been done. Yeah, I know inflation rates are down, but that devaluation of our currency has already occurred, and it's continuing, just not as, as rapid a pace. But that, that's why you can't afford groceries. Co- combined with a war on fossil fuel, you know, also drives up the price of gasoline. So, so the very people, I mean, inflation hurts people at the lower end of, end of the economic spectrum the most. So the very people the Democrats purport to represent are the ones that are being hurt most by this massive deficit spending and this massive invasion at our border. It's something like probably 7 million people now. Mm-hmm. Th- more, than 30, more than 30 states have populations less than the number of people that Joe Biden's let in. And they, they did it claiming that, that Tr- President Trump's closed border was inhumane. What's inhumane is allowing a flood of people being human trafficked, sex trafficked, the drug trafficking, the fentanyl. Yeah, we used to have meth labs in Wisconsin. I guess one good thing is say we don't have meth labs anymore because they can't make a profit because it's so cheap bringing methamphetamine up to the open southern border. So do we have? The, the, you know, these individuals are going to be working in the underground economy. They're going to be abused by unscrupulous employers. How do you think young women who pay their six, seven, eight thousand dollar human trafficking fee? How do they pay that off? Well, they get they get forced into the sex trade. So there's nothing humane about facilitating the multi-billion dollar business model some of the most evil people on the planet, the human sex and drug traffickers. So, what happened to those kids that they brought in that they nobody, said 100,000 nobody children then came? No, nobody knows. Again, this all, How do they don't this know? All, it, it they don't came into tra- the they government. Tra- they don't even try and keep track of it. This all flows into the underground wow. economy. Uh, people are abused. And no, it's, it's, it's tragic. Again, we're a nation of immigrants. I want actually a pretty robust legal immigration system because with a legal immigration system, you can control the numbers. You can make sure you're doing it in a way that doesn't depress American wages. Uh, it's above ground, so you don't have unscrupulous employers taking advantage of the illegal immigrants. Mm-hmm. Again, there's nothing good about this open border. Nothing. Nothing mm. at all. And, and by the way, it is costing hundreds of billions of dollars a year of Money we don't have that we're printing that fuels inflation, but that's also money that can't be applied to, to help American citizens. When we talk about, you know, repair for the black community, because one thing with black Americans, we watch everything and we don't want to continue to be a political football being passed from one party to another. When we talk about things that concern us like justice reform, uh, you know, we tried to pass a George Floyd bill, you know, where, you know, in 2020, everybody was out here, the world was in an uproar. Where did that fall short, that George Floyd bill? Well, so let, let me talk about success we had. So I teamed up with Cory Booker, mm-hmm. and I can't remember what the final name was, but it was a Second Chance Act. It, 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 it's the ban the box, so that employers couldn't have you check off that you have a criminal past before they get, at least give you an interview. Mm-hmm. So we, we got that included. I think that got passed with the First Step Act, which... You know, fixed, I think, once and for all, the differential between crack cocaine and, and powder cocaine, which was insane, mm-hmm. but devastated the black community. So, I mean, again, this was done under, under Republican control in the Senate. And so we're trying to move in that direction. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I can't tell on a specific piece of legislation. You know, oftentimes, there, there, there's like one nasty provision that's kind of a poison pill that people slip in because they really don't want to solve the problem. They just want to create an issue. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's part of my point here, too, is... If you would ask me five years ago, what's the greatest threat to this nation? I would have said our debt and deficit, which is just getting worse. But, but to me right now, the greatest threat to this nation is our division. We're a horribly divided nation. I think the good news is we're not a naturally divided people. We really aren't. As I said, you know, areas of agreement on the, lar- on the major life goals, 
safety, security, opportunity, prosperity. That's something we all share, not as Americans, but just globally. So why are we so horribly divided? I think there are elements. I think there are political figures. I think there are political groups that are purposely dividing us for their own political benefit. Because let's face it, po- politics is about division. There's no it doubt is. about it where I, I hate that about it. It's definitely you, about division, but we also have to make sure that everything that you said, the prosperity, you know, that all Americans have, we as black people have not had that. You know, if I speak personally, I don't feel that we've had that. And now we're seeing the illegal immigrants coming in, breaking the same law that we are held to, um, bringing in the drugs that have devastated our community, uh, that we are locked up right now. So right now, black Americans just want to know if there's going to be a connect, because there is a disconnect between the Republicans and, and usually black people go all the way Democrat. But the question that we have is what are Republicans willing to do, well, you know, to well, first have of all, conversations? First of all, we want to close the border. Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think you've seen. We're all, we all, I, we I think, all want that. I think you've seen in my own heart the way, you know, we helped start. We've, I've supported the Joseph Project. I mean, that's just a genuine program. You know, yeah. Tor, you're saying, you know, that's not promoted enough. I mean, one of the reasons I, I don't want to beat my chest going, hey, what a great thing I've done. I did this because I genuinely want right. to help people, okay? Yeah. And again, I think leading by example is the best way. So I, I think you see in my heart, I, I, don't, I don't discriminate. I mean, I, I, I truly do not see color. I mean, I see how people act. I, I, you know, I, I don't like people that commit acts of violence or cheat or steal or lie. But, you know, I, I want to give everybody a, a chance and an equal chance. Um, and I think that's pretty much what, we all share, right. Republican and Democrat. Now, again, there's always differences in, in terms of how you want to go about it. Past discrimination, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we have come a long way. You know, my concern. We talked about this in the break. You know, about DEI, some of these other things. I think they could actually backfire. I think it could be there could be a backlash, um, and I don't want to see that. Yeah. You know? well, so we, I, again, I, yeah, we, we made progress. I, I want to continue the the healing the racial division how, how open are you for us to continue a, 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 a continued dialogue when it comes to dealing with the milwaukee north side and the state and how and how these things are going because i think that we have to start having open and honest conversations about how we can get things done and many times people will want to have arguments yeah. but when do we sit down and say, okay, what can be done and how fast can it be implemented? Again, we should be talking about that all the time. And, you know, one of the things the Joseph Project did demonstrate is there are really good workers with great attitudes here in inner city Milwaukee. Now, they're mm-hmm. going into places, you know, outside of Milwaukee. You know, we, I, I hate to even bring up this example, but early on in the program, it was, it was so successful that there was a pretty large manufacturer that was going to locate – very looking very seriously about locating something in Milwaukee, and then we had the what what would you call it up on Burleigh and and the Seven Eleven got burned or oh, okay okay right and that caused that business to kind of take take a step back. Uh, you can say you know should have it, who knows? But I still believe that something like the Joseph Project where we just and, and it has tenaciously a- demonstrate no there are some great people here. They're going to be great workers. Why don't you locate your facility here? Now it doesn't happen overnight. Uh, you know th- things like you know what we passed in in the you know, tax reform 2017 opportunity zones. Mm-hmm. You know make those more available. You know to attract capital. I mean that was actually a Jack Kent idea. Enterprise zones. Again, those are those are sincere attempts. You know what can we do utilizing tax incentives to incentivize people to take a risk? Because you know some you know no matter where you locate a plant, it's a risk. There are some places where it's a little bit riskier than others. But right now, I think the riskiest part for any employer is, are you going to locate a plant where you can find workers? So you can demonstrate in Milwaukee that you've got good workers and a lot of them, and they're qualified and they'll have a great attitude and they will succeed and they will help your business. And that's, that, should be that's your, attractive. Your, that should be your calling card. And that, that's, what we have, that's the, the foot forward we have to put. And, again, not only does the RNC have an opportunity to come here and talk to Milwaukeeans and demonstrate our good faith and, and our good hearts. But Milwaukeeans have the opportunity to say, hey, we're ready. You know, we, we're welcoming you here. I mean, God, let's, let's hope this thing goes out without a hitch. You know, it'd be nice not to have protests. I mean, it would just, it'd just be nice to have this be 
you know, a demonstration of how nice and decent Milwaukee and Wisconsinites are, that in and itself could get people to open their eyes and go, hey, okay. this is a pretty nice place. I mean, you got this, we have our own little in, in, in the inland ocean here, beautiful waterfront. Uh, maybe we ought to. And again, we're going to have business. You're going to have business people from all over the country coming here in Milwaukee. Let's put our f- best foot forward. Let's have this be harmonious. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna come yeah, through. I I'm mean, like I said, coming. the yeah. one thing I believe that we need to do now is just look at all sides. And many times when we look at opportunity, we are told, "Hey, not to go over there. Don't go over there. These people are X, Y, and Z." But yet. The same people that told us not to go over there, they over there. You it's know? over there. Correct. And I think that this is an opportunity now for us to ask the right questions, to get involved, to see what's going on, and do our research. Because I think that we want to see some changes and we want to see some results. And I think that the only way that's going to happen is if we open up the doors that we thought were closed or we were afraid to go through to have these tough conversations. So, again, not, not to beat my chest on the Joseph Project, but... One of the benefits of it, I hope, is that people see here's a Republican senator. I mean, you may hate my guts just because I'm a Republican senator. I'm, I'm actually more Tea Party than Republican. <laughs> here's somebody who did something quietly, but I think effectively, certainly genuinely. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm not an aberration. I'm not, I'm not like the only one that wants to see inner cities revitalized that wants to see equal opportunity for every American, okay? Uh, I think that's pretty universal. Right. I, again, Democrat Party and Republican Party. But I think there are a lot of people say that it's, no, Republicans, they don't like you. No, that's just not hey. true, okay? Well, look, I appreciate you for coming through. Uh, this, You know, you got to keep stopping through. We got to have these conversations. Yeah, I appreciate you for coming through uh, with the time schedule you have. But like I said, I want to continue to have these conversations because people need to hear from all sides and all sides need to be at the table to try to make some changes because I'll say this, we need results. And and many times we're, we're only going to get those results by confronting those that's empowered to, to try to make the tough decisions. No, so I appreciate the opportunity. Do do you take call-ins? Oh yeah. yeah, We take call-ins. That's obviously always a lot easier for me to call it. I mean, I'm calling it a rep. Radio shows oh, all yeah, the time. Like, awesome. yeah, have me on as a regular. I will be a regular. All right. Thank you so okay. much. God all bless right. you. Thank you. All right. Look, Truth Nation, when we come back, we'll have more conversations. Stay locked in right here on Tory Lowe. The Tory Lowe Show returns after this on 1017 The Truth, the Truth app at 1017thetruth.com. Eagle Sports Range has an unbeatable offer on concealed carry license classes. For just $49, enroll in their three-hour class led by expert instructors prioritizing safety. Learn laws, techniques, and mindset for responsible carrying. Stick around for an optional hour of range time with instructors included in the package. Practice under professional guidance and gain confidence. Open 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day at 2525 East Lake Avenue in Cudahy. Secure your spot at eaglesportsrange.com. Eagle Sports Range, where safety meets skill. The biggest names in the basketball world. Dame Dollar Lillard. Having fun and honest conversations. He puts it in the shoe, right? And sets the tone for brothers and sisters and family. Every week, Thanasis Adetokounmpo sits down with special guests on The Analysis Show. Presented by Curbless Ready-to-Drink Cocktails. Thanasis. Find The Analysis Show on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts. And on YouTube by searching The Analysis Show. It's time for Truth Takes, a thought-provoking commentary on the new 1017 The Truth. Here is Denise Thomas with her truth. Truth Nation, there has been an ongoing debate in terms of what work ethic means, and primarily across generations. You hear phrases like, this new generation doesn't know the meaning of work. They're entitled. And the younger generation saying things like, the older people... They work way too hard and not smart enough. All perspectives have some extension of validity. I want to share with you something that I heard last weekend that really resonated with me as it relates to work ethic. And the quote was, a lot of people want to learn how to play the guitar, but they don't want to take the lessons. And so Truth Nation, as we continue to have ongoing conversations about the meaning of work, and work ethic. I want to ask each of us to consider what work means to us 
And in terms of what we are looking to gain from whatever aspect of work that we deliver every day, is it equal to what we want to gain? In other words, are you putting in the work that's not just short game or 60 seconds or less, but the work that is going to create a long impact on whatever return on the investment looks like for you? Let's start having more conversations about the meaning of work, making sure that we're aligned on what that looks and feels like, and ultimately not giving up on doing the work. Because goodness knows, we got a lot of work to do. This has been Truth Takes on the new 1017 The Truth. Listen to The Truth Be Told with DT and Telly weekdays from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. This Associated Bank Sports Update on the award-winning 1017 The Truth is powered by ESPN Milwaukee. I'm Kyle Wallace. The Milwaukee Bucks are back in action tonight. They look to make it three in a row as they travel to Oklahoma to take on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Tip-off is set for 7 p.m., and that game can be heard on our sister station, 94.5 ESPN Milwaukee. The Milwaukee Brewers are back on the diamond today after their game was rained out yesterday against the Cincinnati Reds. They travel to Baltimore to take on the Orioles. This is going to be a big matchup of future stars of baseball as the Milwaukee Brewers outfielder Jackson Churio will go up against the Baltimore Orioles young outfielder Jackson Holiday. I'm telling you, this is a game you do not want to miss, so make sure you tune into our sister station, 620 WTMJ, with first pitch set for 605. This Sports Center update is presented by Associated Bank, proudly serving your hometown teams, member FDIC. More of the Tory Lowe Show is next on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Don't like me and they don't know why, but no matter, won't fight me. 2009, I was putting them on. They wasn't excited. 101, 7 The Truth. Tory Lowe, Tory Lowe Show. DJ Brothers E on the ones and twos. We got guests. We got a lot of guests this Friday. Yes, sir. Hey, look, we got Justin McCoy, VP of Marketing of Cousin Subs in the building. I'm here. Hey, look, we got the cleanup tomorrow. You do. Hey, we're going to be up early. It's a special day. Over 170 volunteers. Isn't that awesome? And they're all going to be chewing on Cousin Subs <laughs> when it's all done. We're excited about Powerful. that. Powerful. We're excited about that. How you doing, Justin? I'm doing good. It's Friday. You got a big day. I'm following a senator. I don't even know how to hey, like, follow up look, that You know, we, we got, we got, we had a conference. We're trying to have open dialogue where we can hear what, what's going on. Sometimes people want to, you know, Get tangled up with the extra, but I like to hear. Like I, I, I like to talk. I like to pull it out so we can make some dialogue. Because at the end of the day, I want results on the table. You know, this and, world it needs a lot more talking and listening. Come on, of people from everywhere coming right. together. That's right. that's what's needed to be had. Powerful. Now look, what's going on? May tenth, Donald Driver, Jordan Love will be hosting an annual Green Bay charity softball game at Fox City Stadium in Appleton, Wisconsin. What's going on? Yeah, so for those that don't know, Donald Driver now is a co-owner of six lo Cousins locations in, wow. the, in the Fox Valley. So this happened about a little bit over a year ago. And as part of that, we, Donald and Cousins, have collaborated on many different things that are happening that Donald has going on. So Donald has been the host of the softball game for the last several years. And this year, uh, the Green Bay softball game is going to be going on on May 10th, like you talked about. And what we're doing is a VIP get giveaway. Oh. So you can enter daily for an opportunity to get tickets and then get to meet Donald Driver at the softball game in a VIP meet and greet. Awesome. Oh, wow. And if you if you haven't met, and I know you met Donald because we were on right? the show when we announced Yes, this. I did. Donald is awesome. Yeah. Half. I mean, just did if you want, you want to talk about the epitome of class act. Donald is it. He, he was my favorite receiver. Mine yeah. too. From the Packers. Yeah. Always had a smile on his face. Always. Worked hard. And like the best smile on yeah. Right. Like the, I, I don't know anybody who has. I mean, that that, yeah. that guy has. But <clears throat> the game itself, 
is a great time. It's going to be offense versus defense. So they're going back to that format. Uh, the last couple of years they had done former players versus current players. Mm -hmm. This year they're going back to offense versus defense, and Jordan Love is the captain, which is a very cool hey, thing. Hey, well. I'm thinking about coming out. You know what I oh, mean? Oh, man, it's so much fun. Like, they, they have a home run contest to kick it off. Then the players. It's very interactive. It's very crowd interactive. If you haven't been to that park, too, up in Appleton, it's beautiful. Hey, look, I, 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 I've never been in that park, but I've been to Appleton. I've seen it. But like I said, I'm I want to I want to just come out and just enjoy the festivities of this. You know? Yeah, it's 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 a great time, and all the players get behind it too. I mean, like you'll have basically the entire roster out there playing, so it's it's a lot of fun. They have a lot of fun with it. Like I said, they're interacting with the crowd, they're hanging out, they're doing all the stuff. So it's a really great time. Hey, look, I appreciate everything y'all trying to do to uplift, you know, yes. the community. But the results are in. Hey, the uh, Driven Their Heart Scholarship Contest, the results are in. What's going on with that? Uh, well, we had a goal, didn't we? Yes, we did. We had a goal to get more MPS applications. Yes. Which we did. Half. And our female scholarship winner is from MPS. Whoa. Super Let's excited go. About What it. sport? Uh, she, so she's from Crystal Ray uh, in Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. And uh, I believe she's a track athlete, if I recall correctly. But um, just super excited and had the opportunity. The way we let the, the winners know yeah. is uh, Donald and I go on like a Zoom call with them. And we have Donald go in like a waiting room. So wow. they think they were they thought they were coming on to like answer more questions to see if they won. Mm -hmm. So we bring them in and then like surprise. We, <laughs> we surprise them with Donald. And then wow. Do Donald's question is, would you? You know, would you like to come to my event? And, you know, <laughs> oh, wow. and she she was awesome. All the athletes are awesome. We're going to be recognizing them next next Saturday at the Wisconsin Athletic Hall of Fame and induction ceremony. And that's going to be huge. That's going to be huge. And, you know, what's cool is they, even though they win the scholarship, we've been doing this for a number of years, and the scholarship dollars are awesome. But the, the opportunity for them to come with their parents yes. and be with their parents and they get to walk a red carpet yes. and then be get recognized. Yeah. I mean, at this event – Prince Fielder, Matt Kenseth, and then um, a golfer that's slipping my slipping my my mind mm -hmm. are all getting inducted. Oh, so wow. those so those professional athletes are getting inducted, but our scholarship winners will also be recognized oh, on the stage. Awesome. So so it's really cool. It's just yeah. a cool event, and like I said, just very excited that we have a, a winner from MPS. Yeah, Look, that's awesome. With the goal was to get MPS involved. Yes. And to me, when I hear you know that we're able to make sure that we can do something together to to affect the lives. And we hear a lot of, you know, talk about NPS. Mm -hmm. But that was a great positive thing that took place and it all uh it all shows that we can make a difference. We can come together. We can change a life. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um you know this girl's story was just it, it was awesome. She talked about how her grandmother um only speaks Spanish. Mhm. Mm and she was going through some medical issues, and she had to basically become the translator for her grandma. Oh, wow. Mm. And then so what she started doing after that is she recognized there was a need. Yeah. So then she started volunteering to help others oh, wow. that were in the same situation. Yeah. And that's just like a little part of her story, but super, super cool story. Well, congratulations to the kids. Now, now I'll say this. You know, when we talk about things that uh, Cousin Subs is doing in the community, it, it's some other stuff that uh, – you was trying to hint. Yeah. Did we get to hear that or do we do yeah. we gotta go to break when we come back for break? We can how about we do it after the break? Well tease hey. it. I got some exclusive <laughs> Summerfest news coming up when we come back from the break. Hey, look, when we come back, we got Justin McCoy in the building, VP of marketing at Cousin Subs. We, I guess we got a special announcement. We do, and it's breaking here. Breaking right here on the Tory Low show. I'm, Hey, now I'm excited. <laughs> also, I got my uh, my turkey sub, and I see DJ Brother what's, Z back there. What you got, DJ? Huh? What you got? <laughs> he's got a mouthful as well. What, 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 what's hey, up? Hey, cheering with subs. Yeah, I got turkey. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, look, when we come back, Truth Nation, we're going to have more conversations. Stay locked in right here on Tory Lowe. The Tory Lowe Show returns after this on 1017 The Truth, the truth app at 1017thetruth.com. Truth Nation, join the Truth Team on Saturday, April 13th for our third annual Tory Low Community Cleanup. We want you to go to Truth 
communitycleanup.com to sign up and be a volunteer to help keep Milwaukee clean. Everyone who joins will get a free lunch provided by Cousin Subs. Register today at truthcommunitycleanup.com. That is truthcommunitycleanup.com to clean and beautify our city together. The Truth Community Cleanup is sponsored by Cousin Subs and Safe and Sound. The Empowerment Small Business Loan Program, we're talking about up to $5 million, which for small business owners, we need that. That's like payroll, that's resources. So can you just let us know what is the program and why is this lending program so important to Old National Bank? Years ago, our uh, CEO, Jim Ryan, this program is his brainchild. He was working with Roland Shelton, who yes. you know, Denise, out of Evansville, and they identified that African-American business owners, uh, Hispanic business owners, Native American business owners, as well as women business owners had a difficult time in obtaining financing from the traditional credit partners. And so we went out, created a program, launched it last year, 2023. And so far last year, we have helped over 100 successful minority and women-owned businesses with about $25 million in loans. We have already started wow. this year with almost $8 million in approvals, again, geared toward minority business owners and women business owners that normally had difficulties in, in obtaining a traditional credit finance. Protect your dream home with American Family Insurance. And you can weather any storm. You'll also save up to 25% by bundling home, auto, and life. American Family Insurance. Get a quote. Find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Discounts may not apply to all coverages on an auto or home policy. Discounts do not apply to life insurance policies. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating companies, American Family Life Insurance Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. We Energies want you to keep this important safety message in mind. Before you start digging, planting, or landscaping on your property, call 811 to have underground utilities marked. Calling 811 at least three business days before you plan to dig will help you know what's below and can prevent a hazardous situation. Our representatives will mark the underground utilities on your property for free. So remember, stay safe and call before you dig. We Energies. People you can trust. Energy you can depend on. Hey Milwaukee, my name is Martina and I'm with the Independent Living Supports Pilot Program team. We help adults 55 plus and those 18 plus living with disabilities, providing up to $7,200 for home services, medical equipment, home modifications, and more. There's less than 30 days left to sign up for this program. See if you qualify today. Call 414-289-6874. Again, that's 414-289-6874. This program is made possible by Milwaukee County and Wisconsin Department of Health and Human Services. This is the Tory Low Show on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app at 1017thetruth.com. Seven the truth. Tory Low, Tory Low show. Look, Justin McCoy in the building, VP of marketing for Cousin Subs. Summerfest. Cousin Subs, what's going on? Doesn't it feel good to be talking about Summerfest? Oh, though? it feels so good to be talking about. I'm it. ready for green grass, Man. green trees, oh, and, warm. and we go live. Like, bring, bring it all. Yes. We go live. The Tory Low show goes live. From Summerfest, and and you and and it's usually treats. I get treats. You to do try. You do. From so cousins. I mean, the first thing I have to share is that we have a ticket promo going on right now. Mm -hmm. So if you purchase thirty dollars online, you get a free weekday Summerfest ticket. Oh mm. wow! So and that runs the entire month of April. So you got about eighteen more days to take advantage of that. Um, but if you purchase thirty dollars online you'll get a free weekday Summerfest ticket. So that's the first That's thing. powerful. But this week, we were working out. Now, you remember last year, we had the Flamin' Hot Cheetos cheesesteak. Remember right. that? Brought that we on. We tasted got that. Got to try that. Yep. We came up with a new sub for Summerfest this year. Hold on. Okay, I ain't going to even guess. <laughs> I was going to try to guess. Breaking it. news. First time we're talking about it publicly, we're going to have a fried bologna sub. What? Oh, Wow. All right, so it's you singers bologna, bacon, American cheese, Ooh. onion, pickle, mayo, and mustard. 
And okay. it is that might be fantastic. Fire. Are we are like we sampling fire. this? I don't have it here today, okay. but I will have it next time I come on. Oh and, wow! And we'll also try to join you down at Summerfest and and bring one to you. But Liz, uh, uh, your daughter, uh, Chi. Oh, oh yeah, she uh, loves bologna. Uh, she been like a, <laughs> she been wanting me to make take her back bologna. To your childhood, yeah. Like yeah. it just. But like, Tori owed my daughter a I bologna do. sandwich. I so. do owe her daughter a bologna sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is the one I'm gonna give her with cheese and bacon. Hey, you know? like, yeah. I mean it Nothing is like bacon. It's delicious. It sound like it's really good. I mean, we went so we were we have we have a full restaurant inside of our office and we oh, do wow. we do all of our menu development there. And we were trying to come up with what we were going to do and we were fooling around with a couple different things and we got to this one and we tried it and we were like this is a home run. This is what we're doing. Mm. And so breaking news on the Toronto show. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, look, I can't wait to try it. Me it's either. delicious. Look, I'm, I'm going to tell you, when I first had my first bologna sandwich, my grandma made it. I mean, and it was powerful. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It was powerful. It's DJ so good. Brothers, see, hey, DJ Brothers, I'm trying to tell you. Like, so I'm, like I'm interested. I'm interested. Now, when y'all come up with these ideas, how do y'all decide, you know, what to put on it? Uh, well, I'm a foodie at heart. I okay. run our menu development team, so I like to cook at home. And, um, you know, so I'm I'm – in charge of a team that makes all of our new products. So we basically work with our suppliers. You know, they come to us with like different products they have that they think would work out. Uh, they give us menu trends, different things like that. Uh -huh. And then we just basically go in there and make subs and we oh, try wow. them and we, you know, you do have to factor in like operationally, mm -hmm. is, does it work with the operation? How many new products do you have to bring in to do it? So there are things that, you know, some guide rails that we have we so we don't go too crazy so it, like, <laughs> yeah. makes operations. Yeah. That's hate us, but, um I can't but wait yeah. to taste it. Hey, look, Me I, either. I look, love that lobster the seafood. and the Reuben, yeah. is that, are these permanent? They're not. They're oh, not. for a so, limited so time. The, so the Reuben's all done. Lobster's finishing up. DJ, look, DJ Brother Z, he was, he was hoping I know, that. I was it. hoping I was going to get a Reuben today. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, so the Reuben's all done. But we do have, uh, we have two new subs coming up and a new shake. So we're going to have the Wisconsin cheesesteak. Mm -hmm. So you can get it with steak or chicken. Okay. And then that one is going to be with cheddar cheese and our new cheese sauce, mm. onion, and bacon. Mm. Wow. So See, it's just like cheesy goodness. And then we have an Orange Dream shake coming out. Ooh, so nothing like Orange Dream. Now that's yeah, childhood, so it, especially it, in the it's summertime. Like, yeah, it's like a dreamsicle, you know. So those are our two new products that'll be coming that's up in the store in the next couple of weeks. Hold on, I'm still trying to get my pool tabs. I'm trying. I'm still <laughs> trying to get the cousin subs for a year. Hey, you got time. You got time. Hey, how many is, is there? Okay, how many people have won the pool tab, the big one, uh, for a as year? Of right, as of right now, I think we have three. So there was ten winners. Man, and we only oh, have wow. three of the ten, you know, oh, claimed. Oh, so we got time to work. We got and we, eight, and we printed. We did about, we did about eight hundred thousand pull tabs that are out there in the system. So you got some time to get out there. I, and, I got. And, I'm, and I'm collecting. I got a lot of. I got a lot of uh, winners. I got yeah, a lot of winners. Off. But I ain't got the big one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you got to keep trying. Man, you know, I mean, hey, we know. I'm gonna tell you this. I am excited about what you're doing in the community. Um, you know, Jason was here. We talked about a lot of things that was going on with the Make It Better Foundation. Uh, what what should we know? What's, what should we know that we can participate in uh, that's going on where the community can get involved? Yeah, I think, I think Jason mentioned it. You know, I mean, we basically, if you're supporting Cousin Subs, you're supporting the community because we just give back, right? Right. right. Um, you know, we, we view, uh, the, the dollars we make off of sales by people supporting our mm -hmm. brand. That's, that's how we reinvest back into the community, but more like direct active involvement would be our roundup campaigns, which we just finished up right. one, but we have another one coming up in October. And so like, that, that's a, that's a great opportunity for, um, guests to get behind what we're doing. Basically you come in, you round up, uh, your check, and then we, we put that money into the foundation. And as Jason mentioned, our our average grants probably somewhere between two and three grand. So when we raise, you know, thirteen, fifteen thousand dollars in a in a month long roundup campaign, that's allowing us to support several nonprofit organizations and their missions and what they're trying to do. So that's probably one of the most direct ways. Um, we do have uh, we do have a campaign that's coming up in September uh, that basically is raising dollars for um, uh, uh, cancer care and research uh, for for kids. So there's a campaign there. It's called Catering for a Cure, where we donate $15 for every party box sold. 
uh, to the Vince Lombardi okay. Cancer Foundation. So that's another opportunity where uh, guests we can, can help involved. out. Yep, yep, where they can get that involved. That is powerful. It's so much that I can say when I talk about, you know, franchises, you know, home homegrown franchises that are actually working to give back, especially uh, helping out with the cleanup, mm -hmm. uh, doing things, you know, for the little leagues, for, the, for these athletes. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to make sure that we continue to support that because when we can see the results of of what you're able to do, you know, what Cousins is able to do and affect lives at the same time, I think that's a powerful com combination. Yeah, and it means a lot to us. I mean, I I would be remiss too if I didn't say to the, to those in your audience if they're affiliated with a nonprofit that is looking for assistance, they can go onto our website and they can apply for a grant through our foundation. So that we we meet quarterly to go through and select mm -hmm. those that we're going to be um, you know donating dollars to. And then also we do stuff at stores. We have like donation nights and different things. So like if you're you know if you're trying to support your local school or something like that, approach one of our stores. Let them know what you're looking to do, and then they'll reach out to one um, one of the people on my team, one of my marketing mm -hmm. consultants. And then we do put together like donation nights where we'll donate like 20% off of sales from a certain time period or things like that. So there's a lot of other stuff that we do that isn't like big right. scale, but it's more localized. Hey, you know? look, I'm telling y'all getting the information right now. Cousin Subs in the building letting you know how you can get involved, how your organization can get involved, how they can help you, how you can help uh, continue to allow them to help the community. It's This is amazing. It is. Because Cousins is about that action. Hey. You know, they showed that, up. Hey. Powerful. Out. Hey, look, anything else that we didn't cover that you wanted to talk about or that you want us to know? No, that that's that's about it today. I was very excited to share the fried bologna news with and you. And the next time you come through, you're going to have to bring that, which I will. I will. I need you know to, I got you. You know I got to I gotta put my taste buds on. I got to taste it. You know I got you. We're also coming up with an exclusive Summerfest t-shirt. I bet I can get you one of those, too. See, that's why I like you. you, know I mean? <laughs> you know? Hey, look, Justin McCoy in the building, VP of Marketing of Cousins uh, Subs. I'll tell you this. Every time y'all come through, it makes my day because I know that at the end of this conversation, we still got to get out here and get stuff done. Yep. Tomorrow, we're going to be out in the community. We're going to be able to have people come better to beautify the community and then enjoy, you know, a, a just a amazing uh, cousins brand of subs and to me if we could as we continue you know to grow and and more people continue to get active it's just the best way to do it by giving back and also actually contributing going and and shopping and making sure that you uh the brand is able to continue to give well tori you know that goes both ways it and does. We're, we're proud to support you and your mission and everything you're trying Man, to accomplish and, as well and look i just want to you know a okaboji shirt <laughs> <laughs> you know, you tell Jason. Got to talk to Jason. Just tell Jason that, that he promised. I said all I want is an Uncle Boji, uh shirt, just a regular shirt. Well, he gets down to Iowa more than I do, so <laughs> we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go through him to get that. All right, I appreciate you for coming through. Thanks for having me. Hey, look, Truth Nation. When we come back, we'll have more conversations. Stay locked in right here on Tory Lowe. 1017 The Truth and Associated Bank have teamed up for our Black-Owned Business Give Back. Each quarter, we'll be giving away $6,000 worth of free commercial advertising for three months to five black businesses. To sign up for your business's chance to win $6,000 of commercial campaign marketing on the award-winning 1017 The Truth, visit blackbusinessgiveback.com. That's blackbusinessgiveback.com. Let's rebuild our community's backbone through exposure on the truth. For official rules, head to blackbusinessgiveback.com. Associated Bank, member FDIC. April is Financial Literacy Month, and the truth has you covered when learning about how you can best manage your finances. Tune in all month long as a representative from Educators Credit Union will be joining us to discuss financial strategies and tools they offer members to help enhance your financial management skills. Dig deep and spring clean your finances by joining us for Financial Literacy Month. Financial Literacy Month on the award-winning 1017 The Truth is sponsored by Educators Credit Union. Achieving more together. Check out Jammin' with Juice, where it's amazingly juicy. When Kanye said that slavery was a choice, are you hopping off that ship? Are you saying to be a slave? <laughs> you are so funny, Juice. <laughs> Come get your drop of juice. I wish I could just save everybody in the world who's going through something like that. And you know you always got a friend in Ben. Once you do pass down your wisdom to the next person, that's how you ultimately end up freeing the next generation. From the 414 to everyone across the globe, Jammin' with Juice. 
juice is here for you. Yeah, All the five bitties to the flow hey. right now. See, look, look at that. What? So ignorant. <laughs> it's like a bird so call. Ignorant. <laughs> Hey, y'all are y'all are hilarious. No stone left unturned. Is there a difference between hood, ratchet, and ghetto? I don't know if this man is the devil or the antichrist. That was juicy. Okay, that was extremely juicy. It's amazing. Check out Jamming with Juice daily on YouTube. Being blind doesn't always look how others may think. Stargard disease was supposed to define me. Retinitis pigmentosa aimed to overwhelm my family. It tried to cut me down. A blinding eye disease attempted to force me away from doing what I was born to do. But it cannot stop me. I have the tools. I will keep moving forward. Pushing past the limits of this disability. I know where to find support and where I can be seen. Loss of sight won't blind our vision. Innovative research, educational resources, supportive community. The Foundation Fighting Blindness is leading the charge in finding treatments and cures for blinding diseases. Learn more at fightingblindness.org. A public service message from the Foundation Fighting Blindness. All of your favorite 1017 The Truth content whenever you want. The Truth app has it all. The Truth is on 1017 and 1510 WGKB Waukesha, a locally owned Good Karma brand station. We need each other. That's facts. I need, I need my sisters. I need my brothers out here. A coward dies a thousand deaths, and for all the bootlickers, may you die a thousand and one. The place for the realest conversations. Tori, you want all the action? Or you want all the smoke? Oh, this nigga. I'm with all that smoke too, man. I didn't see Ron Johnson. He trash. Chisholm is trash. How the hell are you here to help us and your kids are dying in the street? I understand that this is Milwaukee and everyone believes that if someone says something, it's snitching. It's not. I don't care if it's the past. If you see the past or acting right, you check that fool. Where's the results? Talking topics that need to be highlighted and discussed in our communities. Would you trade places with a black person? Honestly, I'm not sure. No, I would not. <laughs> Have you ever said the N-word? Come on, be the ready? truth. We on the truth. <laughs> Unfiltered and unfazed, this is the Tory Lowe Show on 1017 The Truth and The Truth app. The reason I believe the racism is getting worse is because whites know that they will be outnumbered in about 20, 21 years. Mm. They're going to be outnumbered. Hey, Tory, man. How are you doing, brother? I'm actually from India. We brown people can totally relate with you. And sometimes it's like, did that just happen to me? We have to not let the government mind us either. That cop ain't never been brought to the public because he he ain't normal, and he may not even exist no more. Say no more, release the video. You know, you keep on doing what you're doing, man. You're going to take over this talk radio, man. Just keep on focusing on what you're focusing on. I wish you a lot of love. God bless you, brother. Now, live from the American Family Insurance Studio in Milwaukee, here is Tori Lowe. Justice Wisconsin, the truth. The most requested advocate in the state. 101.7 FM. The movement continues. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milwaukee, stand yeah. up. Yeah. Stand up. It's Tory Low, the truth. From one to four. We about that action, so tap in and let's go. Uh, we want that justice. We want all the smoke. From Monday through Friday, trying to bring the city hope. Yeah. So we low from one to four, Monday through Friday, let's go. We bout that action from the block, and we ready, let's go. Tap in, and it ain't no holding back. We ready. We ready. 1017 The Truth. Tory Lowe. Tory Lowe Show live from American Family Insurance Studio at the Avenue. The movement continues. The marathon continues right here. On 101, 7 The Truth. Thank you for joining me for the third hour of the Tory Lowe Show. And we got Elizabeth Brown in the building. Hey, look, it's been a long hey, week. Hey, it, it has. The week has been long. But guess what? We got through it. And you know we got to get up in the morning for the cleanup. All facts, but I'm ready for that. Hey, look, Truth Nation. The go, go. Truth Community Cleanup is tomorrow. Uh, I don't even know if you can register. I don't know if the registration is closed or not. I don't know if it's closed either. But you can try it. 
No, you can still register. Oh, it's still okay, open. Jason Let's go. Smith. Okay, it's still open. Okay, that's what I'm talking it's about. It's still open, so y'all hey. can still sign up. True. You know, it's three Almost locations. 200. Almost 200? Hey. Powerful. I'm See, claiming 200 look, already. Uh, look, how I'm many? Uh, if we, we close to 200. I'm claiming it. It's hey, done. look, go to truth. Well, in all honesty, it's 183 that signed up. But, like, for example, Waste Management, they bring in 11 volunteers who not even. Hey, so that's, say that. Oh, wow. Closer. We really yeah. don't know how many we come Come on. And, uh, Might be more than 200. Cousin Subs is, is saying that they got people uh, coming in that may not be registered. Correct. Hey. Hey, consider it done. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm going to put that last minute push in. I, if hey. you want to come out. No doubt. Sign up. Yeah, go to truthcommunitycleanup.com and register. We're going to have a powerful time tomorrow, and I appreciate everybody. Everybody that is signing up, everybody that's going to participate. Uh, the third annual Tory Lowe Truth Community Cleanup. And I'll say this. When we talk about getting out here, getting active, getting in the neighborhoods, and I love – I love when people call in. I love Truth Nation. No doubt. But I love it when, even better, when they're about that action out hey, here on these streets. All facts. Hey, look, we're going to take calls if y'all want to chime in. 833-212-1017. Talk to text. 833-212-1017. Let's go to Al. Al, you're on the new 1017 The Truth. Tap in. Well, I want to say hey. I want to say happy Friday, but I got the pine saw, the bleach, and the toilet paper. Because I heard a whole lot of sugar, honey, iced tea with Ron Johnson. He said we're divided. Well, what the hell is diversity and inclusion that the, that these that the Republican lawmakers trying to get rid of? Mm -hmm. And wasn't he the same guy who said it's not racist to be afraid of blacks? Now, how are you trying to bring down, but y'all got rid of Chicago? And let's not forget his best friend who was talking about walking through the streets with torches. And pitchforks, the tiki and torch. You want to bring the, yeah, all that stuff. And then he talked about Trump closing the border. Well, you can close the border all you want, but you forcing his hysterectomy. <laughs> Your big brother got immigrants working for him. So how can you say that? But it's, and if this way it goes to a respect hey. issue. If you gonna say something, stand on it. Hey, look, people that, that's, that's, why, that's why I let people come in and talk when I first talk to them because, like I said, I'm, it's going to come a point where that talk going to have to turn into action, especially dealing with me because I don't, like, right, when we get off the air, I got families I got to deal with. So, like, I'm, I'm the right one because I want you to say things and talk because I want to have a dialogue. So, I, so because I don't know and what I, was going on before all of that, but this is now. We're going to try to see what's happening. And, and then he brung up the church, talking about Jesus Christ. But wasn't enough those churches the same ones that was trying to recruit people back in Atlanta, the same Christian churches that was trying to recruit people for a race war? Well, ain't the, ain't the so KKK got the cross? Correct. Well, you know, it's somebody who was on down the street, or somebody on Capitol with the cross on their back. I guess they acting like they Jesus. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> oh, wow. But I just don't understand how can you come on talk radio but all the words you said, you won't even stand. Then you worried about protesting. But everything that comes out of Republican mouth is violence. Well, you and know, you well, you know, history, we get Democrats and Republicans on this show all the time, and people say the same thing about all of them. Okay. You know, they, I understand. you know, we we didn't had all the all the people that came through, and you know, when we ask questions, we listening. But I'll tell you this: if we as a people got way more active then we wouldn't have to rely Listen on to what they talk. were saying. All facts. And I just, and you know, and I, I respect his opinion, but when you look at Prince Leopold, Cecil John Rose, All facts. Uh, you know, Christopher Columbus, and then you say one thing, then you talk another, nobody will respect you. So if you want people to respect you, stand on it like your big brother. And mm. maybe everybody won't sit there and be calling you out. But I still got that toilet paper. I didn't bring He's the so one like, like the pet, like the towel. <laughs> I brought the one ply. Y'all have a good one. Oh, wow. He said the one plot. Hey, look, and, and this is why we. I'm happy that I got a show because I'm going to tell you, I don't know what was happening before, you know, I became an on-air personality, but I'm an advocate. All facts. You know, I got to go up there and change laws on the behalf of the residents that I serve. All facts. And I've done that. So right. when I have conversations with people, I just want to see what's being said right now and right. where where we finna go. Not only that, giving up people, yeah. uh, again, as a people, 
especially those of us who you who marked Democratic all the way down and understanding right. the suffering that we are right now. The main thing we have to do is not allow our emotions to get in our way of listening. You know what I'm saying? So to have individuals to come and so you can hear them, clearly hear them, clearly see them backpedaling. You know what I'm saying? And clearly trying to uh, dodge certain questions. Well, well I'll, I'll it, take it. It puts a pers- you, then you draw your own perspective. Right. But again, like you stated, you having the show, you being about that action, you allowing everybody to come in and speak their piece because now you can hold them personally. Right. Cause like I said, I get it. It ain't. I don't. I'm. I'm not in a battle with no none of these people. My battle was out here on these streets. All facts every day. Okay. So when we talking to people who have uh, idealisms, correct. I want to know. This is what the platform is for. But at the end of the day, it's gonna. It's gonna come a point where some action gonna have to take it place. Have to take place. Especially when it come to me. So, All facts. So okay, I'm listening. Okay, but when it's time to, for the action, just like the cleanup, Eddie. a lot of people call in to the show full of hot air saying all this stuff, but, but now we got events up. on the streets. See, that's Facts. where I'm out. I, I, they never show that's up. where I put the results all in Facts. on the streets. But what I'm saying is I'm just saying eventually the the, the results are going to have to divide from the talk. Correct. It's going to separate itself. It's going to have to separate itself. No doubt. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm happy. I'm excited. No doubt. Because... Tomorrow, you know, we got this third annual cleanup, and we when I see the Truth Nation, that part, that 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 call into the show, and I get to see y'all out here in the yeah. streets, I know we going in the right direction. All facts. That's when I know facts that what we're doing on the air because there's is transferring to the neighborhood. No doubt, and it's happening. Hey, look, that to me is powerful. We had two hundred. <laughs> That's all I'm. What say. you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, if you ain't registered. We got time. Yes. We got time. You can, three locations. Three locations. You know, we going to be up early, seven. Uh, I'm probably as early as seven tomorrow. Yeah, because the first one is eight o'clock. Right, right. So, I, and I'll be doing some of the uh, setup, locations. you know. Yeah. I'll be doing, in, I'll be involved in the setup. But go to Truth Community Cleanup. Dot com. Dot com and register. Come out. Have a good time. Let's help work and beautify our neighborhoods together salute to cousin subs salute salute for, for sponsoring real. major sponsor salute to safe and sound safe and sound and waste management and waste management for everything that that they're going to be doing all the volunteers you know what it's going to be a great time i cannot wait and the weather is going to be beautiful hey you didn't check the weather yes i did the I mean, sun is going to be what shining. they say it's going to be what no 65 clouds. 70 degrees what yes so it's going to be what? nice and warm you know i ain't got to wear rain boots you know this year and a plastic bag but uh it's going to be beautiful so again come out go to you know uh, truthcommunitycleanup.com you know, tomorrow actually is supposed to be 65 and sunny. 65 and sunny. 65 and sunny. And, and, and we can hug a couple of trees while we out there, too. What? Yeah. I might hug one. You know I might be saying? so happy. I might, you might give me uh, DJ Brothers and you going <laughs> to hug a tree tomorrow. Oh, 100%. Hey. Tree huggers. You know okay. what I'm saying? Hey, hey, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, try, I'm getting used to it. I'm trying to get used I'm to the idea. You, look, man. the more the frequency of love that we give, again, when you're giving it to the tree, whether you hugging one of the Truth Nation, you know, that's a whole frequency. Right. We change the lives out here. This trying is what, to stay ground. This, this is a lifestyle right here. This I agree. Do, you know? I so. agree. Hey, it is a lifestyle. But I'll say this, you know, when we come together and work, it's just – the small things that All add up. Facts. And a lot of people always want to do the big thing. They, why facts. the big things ain't happening? Well, it's have you have you did the small things, things exactly. to set the stage? You can't skip. Now, everybody want to skip the process everybody of, do, of wanna doing the work. They want to get into They want to get the shortcut it's, in. It's not that way. You got to crawl, you know, then you, you, you start to walk. And like I said, I will never forget the days that I had to be out in the community it was I was paying for the garbage bags. All I didn't know facts. I didn't know it was a place to get the garbage bags and All that. Facts. And I was just out here trying to make sure that I was doing my part as far as getting to know who was in my neighborhood. All facts. Talking to them, letting them know, hey, I'm here to be a resource. Correct. And 14 years later, boom, you here know, we, we, we doing all kinds of things. Volunteers. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I cannot wait. 
to see y'all faces Come on. out in the streets. Come on. Being about that action. Mm. That sounds so good, Elizabeth <laughs> Brown. Hey, look, when we come back, Truth Nation, we're going to have more conversation. Stay like them right here on Tory Low. Don't touch that dial. The Tory Low Show will be right back on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. What's good, y'all? This is 1017 The Truth's Telly Hughes, and I am Milwaukee. The goal of Truth Be Told with DT and Telly is to provide a platform for citizens of Milwaukee and Truth Nation to have their voices heard about concerns that have daily direct impact. So join the home of Milwaukee's realest conversations where you can speak your truth. We are the award-winning 1017 The Truth, Milwaukee Black Talk. Are you or anyone you know looking for a job? Direct Connect MKE is a social media style platform that empowers you to grow your social network, find career opportunities, and connect with career specialists for success. Visit joindcmke.com today to learn how you can create a profile, upload your resume, and find access to information about jobs, job training, hiring events, and more. DCMKE is locally focused and equips you to grow your social capital and find opportunities that match your career interests. Here's how it works. Join DCMKE and their partner organizations and follow the employees that you find interesting. Then meet the career advocates in DCMKE's community to start forming meaningful career relationships. And lastly, scroll through your feed to find and apply to new career opportunities and get matched to openings by career advocates. Yeah, it's that easy. Access to great opportunities at the tips of your fingers. Visit joindcmke.com today and connect your dream to reality. That's joindcmke.com. Associated Bank knows your small business isn't just a venture. It's your dream and a vital part of the community. And we're not just a bank. We're your neighbors. We're looking out for you. That's why Associated Bank offers quick online applications and approvals with funding in as fast as one business day, checking with no minimum balances or maintenance fees, and prompt customer service. Explore our products at associatedbank.com business or visit a branch for more details. Subject to credit approval. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Sharon needed legal help. She needed Gruber Law Offices. When I think about Gruber Law Office, I think about how they took care of me, how they make sure that you get what you're supposed to get. Gruber Law Office, one call, that's all. I will always, always trust one call, that's all. Injured? Call Gruber Law Offices today. One call, that's all. They are the best. I'm very happy. Truth Nation! It's a big week for First Stage. The classic book series is coming to a live stage near you. Diary of a Wimpy Kid musical is coming to life at the First Stage Children's Theater in downtown Milwaukee. Bring the family to see this classic book turned into a musical by visiting FirstStage.com. The show runs at Marcus Performing Arts Center from April 6th to May 5th. Get your tickets today to see the Diary of a Wimpy Kid musical by visiting FirstStage.com for tickets. More of the Tory Low Show is next on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Cut it on me, I'm a cut a fool. Calling all the steppers to the front. Get ready for the show. A is on. We always number one. Get thump. They ain't think Rick was coming home. 1017 The Truth, Tory Low, Tory Low Show. DJ Brother Z on the ones and twos in studio with Elizabeth Brown. Hey, yo. Hey. A lot of guests in the building today. Yes, yes, yes. Clean up tomorrow. Clean up, clean up. It's time to clean up. Mm. And Cousin Subs was in the building. Hey. You know, everybody around here munching and crunching. Hey. You know? I ain't touched mine yet. I ain't want to I ain't wanna be on air chewing. Smacking. Not yet. <laughs> Not now. They, they bring the new... Uh, with the bologna one, I might hey, have to try bologna, to taste that bacon, one. Yeah. Hey. And you know, Chi wanted me Chi, to come and make hey, her one, but I... I just text Chi, hey. like, guess what? You know what I'm saying? She like, nah, Tori's supposed to do hey, it. Hey, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to give it to her. As a matter of fact, I might have to go ahead and roll up my sleeves <laughs> you know what and saying? go and get and back in the kitchen. Bologna. You know, All get back, facts. fire up the stove on it. All you know facts. what I mean? Uh, but on a serious note, Maxwell Anderson, 33 years old, has been charged in connection to the death and the disappearance of 19-year-old uh, Sade Robinson. 
investigators say Anderson intentionally killed and then dismembered Robinson with the intent to conceal the murder. Yes. Um, once again, con- condolences to the family yeah. of a uh, 19-year-old Sade Robinson. And to me, I feel like this just has so many puzzling turns to it when I read the complaint, mm-hmm. how he did this. Uh, they have video. They have, they tracked it. I mean, they got everything. Uh, once they was able to understand uh, or get a, a location or an idea, they were able to go back and backtrack everything this guy was doing. So my thing is, is it premeditated? I don't know if it was premeditated, but it was definitely something that he was trying to hide. Correct. Isn't premeditated just planned, though? Yes. Yeah. I feel like he did plan that. You think that, he planned it? I think it? so, too. Okay. I, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, feel I, I just like, say he could have. You don't, I don't put it past. Just, cut somebody's body apart. Right. Or have you done this before? That part. That's the question. I mean, they saying that it ain't no more victims, but. How we know? Because mm. you got to be in some type of mindset to sever people, a, a body. Cut through bones. And then strategically go to that's, different parts. That's wild right there. To distribute. That's wild right there. Man. And And to me, I feel like. For the last couple of weeks, there's been like just horrendous things going on yes. with women yes. being killed. Yes. And you we know. already know, you know, the the black women, how. Well, I'm getting the calls from the, on the women's side. Of course. I, I know there was a male that was shot. The, he, yeah. Domestically. Greg, I think his, yes. you know, he was shot. So you, you was telling me family. about that. Yeah. He was actually shot. You know, and they looking for that was a domestic situation. Correct. His his daughter's uh, his children's mother. Mm. Uh, yes. You know, I was in the store the other day, and and every time I run into people now, something is happening. I it can't is. keep up with everything. Exactly. And uh, I just can only send up prayers and 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 say, hey, look, you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of negative energy out here. It is. It's that, vi- it's a lot of people vibrating really low, and this is why. We have to vibrate high and send the frequency of love, which is help, which is action. Action is the the key to showing that you love not only yourself, but the people around you. And I promise you, Tori, it's so many people vibrating low. And the only way you can combat that is vibrating as high as possible. And that's exactly what we doing. Right. So. That's why I say the community cleanup is a positive event where yes. everybody can get out. Put some positive energy in the, in the universe. Yeah, that, you know? that's the love frequency. Right. And yes. so, like I said, what we need right now is love. a lot of love and understanding. No so I, I appreciate those that are willing to make those sacrifices on a day-to-day basis. I know it goes unseen. Yes. And I know it's like one of those things that, you know, everybody don't say, hey, I appreciate everything you've done. It's, it's almost like a thankless thing. It you is. Know? So, you know, selfless, you know. Yeah, it's very much so selfless. So... But in I'm a world te- that is selfish. And and that I'm telling you, thank you. Yes. You know, and it's not going unnoticed. It's you know? definitely not going unnoticed. You know, I sometimes I feel like the stuff, you know, it, all them years I'm and and it's not, you know, projected. A lot of people don't give you a lot of likes. They don't. For for really helping and really doing the real work. It's not a lot of likes. Not in at it. all. In a world of wickedness, right. righteousness is gonna see the brunt. You know, uh, of the negativity. They're going going to try to break you so you will sway to that side. But Mm -hmm. again, the muscle memory that you build being righteous, uplifting righteousness is stamping out wickedness. And like I said, there is nothing more powerful than action and action is love. Love is the highest frequency. Well, we fit to go to the lines. We got Eddie, Eddie on the lines. Eddie, you coming to the cleanup? I know that ain't who I think it is. Well, you know, Tori, I had planned to come to the cleanup. Here we go. But the but the gal who does my schedule reminded me, because I told her I wanted to take part this year, that I have an obligation, Tori, I have to go to a black, transsexual, transgender, bisexual, pansexual, transgender homeless shelter for kids without legs. And so Jeez. that kind of takes precedence See, Eddie, yo, over you, the cleanup. You, you, you losing cool points. You dropping down in the ranks. Eddie. You, Eddie, you dropping down in the ranks, Eddie. You you was 
You call well, in all I'm the time. I'm trying to help. You're not trying. Every to year, priority. you miss all the you miss all the active just like the run your things mouth. that we do on the station. You you no. don't show up. This, uh, and then you make Corey. all these weird excuses, Eddie. No, don't make on no the scale excuses. Of make changes. Culture, I, I named nine things that was more woke you than have picking not up been garbage. About no I am trying. You have not been about no action. Eddie, Eddie look, so. you, 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 you might, you might. Pansexual. You might drop down in the rankings, Eddie. Pansexual. DJ Brother Z, block it's, party. I'm, Put Eddie on the block party. I'm, Hush up, boy. I'm trying to be woke. I'm trying to be woke. That's all there is. I, 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 let me tell you something. The way you say woke, it's just crazy. It yeah. make it makes me want to go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, because the thing <laughs> is, when you say woke, I don't even know what you even talking when about. When Eddie say woke, yeah. I want to go to sleep. Yeah, facts. <laughs> I'm talking about white, white woke, not black woke, white woke. Hey. And I, I, I added in 11 different sexualities. That's all I need to do. And I'm okay. I'm protected under that, the umbrella of political correctness. Eddie, you need to culture. come out to the cleanup. You need to cancel your plans. Get your paintbrush. Eddie ain't get, about that you life. No, we, we need you to come out to the cleanup with your paint. Hey. With your tools, Eddie. He's a talker, not a doer. Tori, last time I came to Juden Teeth, I was walking up and people were shooting guns at each other. That. Eddie, know, look. Girl, See our excuses. Who looked like Elizabeth Trotter. Look, we're look helping here. people out. Look here. Um, Eddie. Here we, we go. We no longer want to hear from you. Again, you're not about that action, okay? Eddie, you got to get no, out I here. I am about the, the, the action. The only smoke I'm you about know the action. is the, the Marlboro the cigarettes action. that you sit on your back porch no. and smoke. <laughs> you don't know you nothing Newport. about Newport. the smoke? No, no, you smoke Marlboro. Newport because they're menthol. Hey. menthol. So I got a question Marlboro. for you. Marlboro. You were talking, <laughs> you were talking earlier about uh, the the snack foods, the snackables, the lunchables. The lunchables, right? Right. And you were saying they had lead, and you guys were very easily using the word cracker. <laughs> you had no problem Eddie. using the c word. Eddie, cracker what's in cracker the lunchables? Dad. Don't you have any crackers. shame? It's Is saltine, there no shame? Eddie, Eddie, crackers, Eddie, Eddie, ain't it crackers in the lunchables? Yes. Bruh. That's horrible. You can't say it. What is you talking about? Say it. The guy from You know what? I think it's something Tom going on with the it. transmission. Eddie, Eddie, I think something going on with your line. Oh, wow. Yeah. All that right. Part. Well, Happy Friday. Hey, have a fun, safe weekend, Eddie. I know you're not coming to the cleanup. You're not about that action. Hey. And Truth Nation, this is why you can't listen to Eddie, okay? We know he's not a producer. You know, he just liked to run his mouth on Black Talk Radio. So now that we know that he's not about that action, pay hey, him little attention. Eddie, you got it. You got it. You, you losing all. You Eddie losing calls. all the cool points. You losing all the points, man. Uh, we gonna head to the lines. Winky Blue, you on the new one hundred one seventy Truth? Tap in. Hey, good afternoon to you, brother. How you doing? Yeah, I would like Wink. to. Uh, all righty, all right. Uh, I would like to give my condolences to the Hayes family as well. You know, because there was a lady that was killed by her boyfriend that had 80, I mean, had eight kids, right? Yep, right. I'm advocating for that family as, as we speak it. Ms. Now, that's a lady, but we got a brother Correct. that's been doing a lot of, ever since the boy get out of the penitentiary, he's been one of the coldest cats in the, in. The, hey, man, you get out of jail, you go up there to that car lot, break, putting you in a car, he's self-financing. Right. You know, then he just opened up uh, on Fonda You talking about Greg? I'm sorry, right. on Appleton. Thanks. Yeah, great. He got a car lot up there on 76 mm -hmm. and Apple. I mean, when you get out of jail, man, and you ain't got no money and you broke, you was going up there to get you a car. You know, little Greg, man, uh, uh, it made a phenomenal change, you know, out of all them. You know, he did quite a few years. Now, he did about 23 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, he changed from a young man, you know, from, you know, to, to and, and he evolved into a great person. And, and the girl killed him. I don't know what it was about. It was it, it, well, We know it was domestic because she walked away with no shoes on. Okay? So, you know, and, 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 and uh, you know, that, that guy there, man, has just been a phenomenal guy, and, and I'm hurt behind that, man. And, that, mm. and, and I mean, you know, he sponsored some, he sponsored some ideals, you know, that, that, that we've been doing in the community. Okay. But uh, let's, let's, oh, wow. just hope, let's just hope she don't go nowhere. Huh? I said, that's powerful. If he What'd was you out there, he you said that he came out of the jail system, turned his life around and was able to give back to the community. 
man, giving back all kind of ways, man. Listen, mm-hmm. here, I, I'm just hoping that the girl don't go somewhere and kill herself because they got a three-year-old son, mm-hmm. four-year-old. Mm-hmm. When he come out the joint, he met her, and uh, they fell in love. And, and 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 it just kind of you know it just kind of happened this way, man. And I'm I messed up. But uh, going to cousins, the sponsoring of cousins, that's a great thing. That's a homegrown uh, 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 franchise right here in our state. I remember when they first come out, I was a little boy, mm-hmm. and Vincent Price was doing all of the advertising for them. And but now I would like to know. Uh, with all of the prizes and treats that they give out, are they opening up any uh, 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 thing where guys can buy into a franchise mm-hmm. in our inner city? We only got one right in the inner city, and that's over, I think, on in Miller. I mean, at uh, where is that over at? Uh, it's one on uh, Burla. Uh, Court, the old. No, it's, it's yeah, it's one uptown. in mid, Midtown, and it's one on uh, East Midtown, Cabin. Midtown, right? Midtown. And, and you got one, one in Burla Midtown. Too. You got one on Seventy Six. It's one on Burleigh. Right on Burleigh. On 76? Uh-huh. On 76 and Burleigh, right. Yeah. But we're talking about down in the in the hood because you can buy into it's a one on Villa subway too. for – Where on Villa? Surely is yeah. right there. And it's one on Holton, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's one on – you know what? But I would like to see them open up some kind of investment plan so us guys can get together and get some money and invest in one of those mm. cousins. And I mean, you know, and then we could be – I mean, you're not going to turn no money over right overnight. But guess what? You'll be an owner in something by investing your money in in the shares of that particular location. I Good think idea. I think yeah. that would be that would be tremendous. Okay. And then I want to say something about about my boy uh, uh, that just called in. Uh, when are we going to be? You told me you was going to get me and him in the studio. I've been waiting on that opportunity. Well, I, I, I thought so y'all was trying to arrange it. I mean, I I, I fell apart. Well, you got to do that. You know, this I is said, your, this show. Hold on, that action, hold on. So. I said when we first was going to try to do it, but like I said, you know, my life is, once I leave out of here, I'm out here. So, <laughs> But, how but we can put it together. Right. When, hold on, we can put it together. Because Eddie won't even put, show put up Eddie to together. Cleanup. But he won't even he show won't even up to nothing out in the community. Why would we invite him? Well, let's be realistic now. As Eddie is a provocateur, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to come is. He ain't to about clean that up either. I don't care about none of that. Well, well, that's right. Well, 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 why don't we get him on in and see what, what, what kind of no, action? Maybe we can get him on, co- on some other kind of project. No, 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 hey, no. Hey, Wiki always believed. Okay, right, Wiki, okay. Wiki, Wiki, right. Wiki got the – Wiki always believed that we, somebody could do something. We had several calls for action, and he well, was a no well, well, listen to this here. On the 26th, on the 26th, Wiki Blue is doing a, 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 a town hall fish fry. Come out and get you some free fish, you know, and we want to hear what the community got to say. Just about, like Tori say, just come out and vent. Plus, we're going to be asking some questions. Mm-hmm. You know, the 26th of February over at the uh, Golden, Go- you said a not February? Golden Gems, but the... Uh, the what, to 26th of what sorry, now? Not February. That was the last one. I'm talking about April 26th. Okay, okay, April 26th. So you coming out to the cleanup? Over at the 100 Gems. You, you, you guys will be running a commercial in a, in a, a probably Monday or Tuesday. Okay. The commercial will be running over there. So you guys are invited. And the first 50 people get a free vape of their choice. It's sponsored by Cool Breeze Vape. And, man, look here. I want to see your face on face. Just like a vent thing, Corey. We ain't going to go into what you're saying because you write about most of the time. People go to the meetings and they just want to holler and scream. Right. Come on out and fellowship, man. Get you some fish or something, you know, chicken dinner or something, you know. Free. You coming out tomorrow out when you blow? it up. You coming uh, out tomorrow? You know what? I just might do that, Liz, since yeah, the last in. time I missed it was raining. Yeah. yeah. I might just come. I might bring it's a couple guys. Sunny. Yeah, come on out, Wayne. Bring, yeah. bring, bring yeah, out yeah, some yeah, of the yeah. fellas. I just, might, I just might do that now. If come I, through, Wayne. Yeah, yeah I'm going to call you tonight and get a, get a location, Tori. So, uh, 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 and I'll come out and bring some bags or something, man. A couple hey. cases of water. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. All right, yeah. Wayne. All right. All right. Okay. Thank All right, my man. Hey, look, you know, like I said, it, it, I love it when I see the community come together. All facts. It, it, the most important thing to me is that we can get out here and get some stuff done. I know yeah. we get on the air and we get to talking and we get to doing how we do, but it's even greater. Yes. When we can get things done so out more. here for families. Correct for ourselves, for our neighborhoods, and that's what this is all about. You know, I know we love to go back and forth and and talk, and I just hope that as we grow, we become more about that action. That muscle memory for that action. Because it's enough action for everybody out here. It definitely is enough. Hey, (laughs) it's enough. It ain't going to never run out. Ever. Every day is something new. No doubt. And I got a lot of it, so trust me, I'm going to do a lot of call to actions because there's a lot of things that need attention. 
and I appreciate everybody in Truth Nation for signing up for the cleanup. I'm, I, I appreciate that because that shows me that it's more than just us having these conversations. We want to get some things done. And it's, to me, that makes more sense to me when we have these platforms. It's a frequency that's out here that, you know, we're moving in unison. And, uh, again, those of us that show up, because everybody can't show up to every uh, call to action. But, again. But it'll be a number of them. Yeah. Correct. And uh, salute to Winky Blue, because, again, when the community call, he do show up. So um, salute to him. And the rest of Truth Nation, I can't wait to see y'all tomorrow. Hey, look, it's about that time. One call, that's all. Hey, now it's your chance to be entered in to win our One Call, That's All 5K giveaway. That's right. This is your chance to win $5,000. Call 833-212-1017 and be caller number 10 right now, and you'll be entered in to win $5,000. And remember, if you or a loved one have been injured in an accident, give Gruber Law Offices a call. One Call, That's All. Be caller number 10 right now for your chance to be entered in to win our 5K giveaway. For official contest rules, visit 1017thetruth.com. Call now, 833-212-1017. More of the Tory Lowe Show is next on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Whether you're an artist playing accountant, a barista trying to be a bean counter, or a student just looking to get started, the UW Credit Union app lets you be free to be you with free credit scores, free online bill pay, and the ability to send money to friends. Because with fewer fees, you can do more of what you love. UW Credit Union, here for every you. Join today at uwcu.org. Federally insured by NCUA. Introducing your trusted partner for all your freight transportation needs, it is Out the Mud Hauling. From local to long distance hauls, they ensure seamless, timely deliveries for businesses nationwide. They offer a variety of services like cross docking, order fulfillment, debris removal, hazardous material handling, pallet storage, and much more. Whether you're a seasoned shipper or an expiring entrepreneur, trust Out the Mud Hauling for all your trucking needs across the USA. Contact them today at 262 278 1595 out the mud hauling it's time for truth takes a thought-provoking commentary on the new 1017 the truth here is sherwin hughes with his truth i think you're spoiled you have too many choices we sometimes forget that having choice is a luxury i can remember when i was a little kid i either ate what my mother cooked for dinner or i starved I didn't have the luxury of choice. Now we can choose anything and everything. We can choose which apps we want to be a part of. We can go and pick a new mate. We can decide what food we want to order. We have an unlimited amount of choice. And I think that we forget that choice is a luxury. You are either a winner or you're a loser. You're either going up or you're going down. You're either free or a slave. You're either woke or you are asleep. Those are called binary choices, and it's tough for people to understand just having two choices in a world that inundates us with unlimited choice. I know you don't like the candidates that are on your ballot come November. Guess what? They probably don't like you either, but you only have a binary choice. You either want this country to excel and succeed and explore new industries and be honest and fair about racial inequity. You either believe in climate change or you don't. You believe in democracy or you don't. You want a country that will do whatever it can to help people, all people, regardless of gender identity, regardless of national origin, or you want to take the low road and vote for the person that only wants to help himself with no regard for anyone else. Choice is a luxury. Unfortunately, too many of us forget that it's a luxury. Binary choice is all you have in November. I hope you choose wisely. This has been Truth Takes on the new 1017 The Truth. Listen to The Truth with Sherwin Hughes weekdays from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. This is the Bloomberg Black Business Beat. The collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore was stunning, and we're still learning what the long-term impact might be. 
One aspect that could be easy to overlook is what the collapse might mean for Baltimore's local economy. That problem will need to be solved in part by two black leaders, Maryland Governor Wes Moore and Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott. Scott talked about the potential economic ripple effect while speaking to reporters in the immediate aftermath of the collapse, citing the significance of that port to the region's workers. It is the largest for car import and export in the country, and we have to understand uh, the impact that that's going to have on uh, the workers. That audio courtesy of ABC. And with Baltimore's large black population, any disruption to the local economy will disproportionately affect black families. I'm Bloomberg's Justin Milliner on the Black Business Beat. It's the Tory Low Show on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Congratulations to Sammy. You'll be entered in to win our One Call That's All 5K giveaway. For official contest rules, go to 1017thetruth.com. Also, Truth Nation, my friends at Cousin Subs want to make you a VIP on Friday, May 10th. Donald Driver and Jordan Love will be hosting the annual Green Bay charity softball game at Fox City Stadium in Appleton, Wisconsin. And this year, Cousins and Double D are teaming up to offer you a chance to be their VIP guest. The VIP winner will win a package that includes a meet and greet with Donald Driver, VIP seating, food and beverages, and Cousin Subs for a year. (laughs) Ooh-wee. Enter daily at CousinSubs.com slash softball now through April 30th Cousin Subs, we believe in better. Hey, powerful. Powerful. Hey, look, Elizabeth Brown, once again, I, I'm going to try to urge, I'm, try, I'm trying to urge everybody that's listening, if you if you ain't got nothing to do tomorrow, even, join us. Even if you got something to do, just stop through. You know, just stop through. Join us, because they got to register to figure out where we're going to be at. Well, yeah. Because we're going to be moving. It ain't just like we're going to be in it's, one it's spot. three locations. We got three correct. locations, so you got to... You got to register so you can figure out where we're going to be at at what times. Right. Go to True that. truthcommunitycleanup.com, register, and we going to be out there tomorrow. Hey, Grinding. Having a great time. I cannot wait. I'm, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, I the, I love talking on the air to yeah. Truth Nation. Ain't nothing like but it ain't nothing like talking to Truth Nation with the... Well, we out here with, with a little the, sweat on your We're doing something you know what I'm that means something to a lot of oh, people. No. That's powerful. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Also, uh, you know, Elizabeth Brown, you know, a lot of people was upset that O.J. Simpson passed. Yeah. A lot of people was upset. Yeah. And I don't know why they, ups- again, you know, he transitioned. They, you know? they, they, they don't want him even let the man rest in peace. Of course not. You know, but again, like I said. They don't like, even want the man to die. This is the thing. We're we're in a time now where a lot of people is vibrating low. Right. And I'm telling you to vibrate high. You know, it, it's even more imperative for you to be, you know, the light and surrounded by darkness. It's, it's imperative for you to be the love, you know, in, in these trying times. Because, again, um, may O.J. Simpson rest in peace. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you right now. Look, I'm, don't don't you don't wish death on nobody. You know? Nobody. Hey, you better be careful. I'm telling you. But like I said, you know, a lot of people feel some type of way about OJ. And that's cool. And I'll tell you this. I, I think he lived his life. The last. He did. He when I seen life. some of the social media posts he did yeah. once he got out of jail. <laughs> he, he was on the golf course. He, 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 he wasn't thinking was about his best life. He wasn't thinking about nobody. Not at all. Hey. And, and when you when you didn't live that long, you start to realize, you know, you ain't got forever. I was telling somebody the other day, we. We really not here Mm-mm. for that long. No, we do not. And, and you need to utilize. And think about it. You know, when grandma passed, I was, you know, was a lot of hurt, you know. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, life goes on. Life goes on. And then I was thinking like, man, pretty soon I'm going to be. Correct. In that space where, Correct. 
people, you know, I may not be here and right. life goes on. So right. it's what you do while you're while alive. You're here. Again, my father used to always say, you know, it's your birth date, it's your death date, and that dash in between is what you did. Mm, that little dash. While you was here, that little dash. You understand what you gonna be remembered for? Look on my on my birthday, I'm gonna get the dash bigger than the than the birth date and the death date. I'm gonna have my dash <laughs> big, right. I'm gonna have a big, cause I'm gonna live my life. That part, right? Yeah, make it big. You know, I right? Mean, I, uh, just for my daughter out there, she I want to be cremated. Okay, we hey. don't we don't need to even have none of that. I just want to be cremated. Well, you better put that in some and, type uh, of. I want I want some type of organized a will or some party, and I want DJ Brother Z. The DJ, you know what I'm saying? What? <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> now, no, no, no. This may be, you know, something that people been seeing. Now they taking the bodies, see, no, and man. setting the body up on yes, motorcycles I've seen and that. At, at, playing the game, playing video games. Man, the, it's it's, too what far. is that? And bum and like they, I don't know. I don't want to see nobody like that. You know, when I don't. Yeah. Then they twerking on the like the man, the one that was in the club, they right. was rapping all in the church. I'm like, you know what? They had him up like one dude was just sitting on the throne, like uh, in a his chair. body. Yes. That, that. What do they call that? I don't know. Like mannequin. I don't. No, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's a name for it. But is that an option in Milwaukee, Wisconsin? I ain't seen it here. I ain't seen it here either. I haven't, <laughs> and I hope I I, I hope not. To see it, I, well, like I said, every everything is everything now. People choosing to get, and they can, they and that's choosing right. how they want to go out. But Th that's your it's right. eerie, it's eerie to me. But people being creative, they don't want to see their loved one in the casket. My thing is, you know, we've been lied to our whole lives. So j as long as you thinking outside the box and you not hurting nobody, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever you creating for your family, just make it make sense. And at the end of the day, as long as you ain't hurting nobody, I support it. Somebody on the uh, chat as we go live on 1017 The Truth said, y'all should hit the freeway fences where them kids be selling the water. You know, oh, when they be uh, the on the side of the I road. I always do, especially right down hey. there on Keith. Well, wherever we, we, always support well, the kids. Wherever we at. The freeway fence is where we at. We clean those areas. Oh, no too. doubt. No doubt. Yeah, we always, we hit everything. We, yeah, but we, we got the, a lot of volunteers. We, we in the hood. We, yeah. we, we going to the, we, you know, people who We, we do a there. great job when yeah. we hit the area. All facts. So whatever area we going to going to be the served well. The energy going to well. be fired. No doubt. There's going to be, they, we there strictly to beautify. It's going to be litty. You ain't seen nothing like it. That's why you need to get out <laughs> and, and, and come bring be a the family. Of greatness. Facts. You want to be on the right side of history. Hey. On the clean side of history. <laughs> well, look, Elizabeth Brown, it's that time when we come back. I want to get your final thoughts as usual. Let's get it. Truth Nation. They like them right here on Tory Lowe. Don't touch that dial. The Tory Low Show will be right back on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Truth Nation, join the Truth Team on Saturday, April 13th for our third annual Tory Low Community Cleanup. We want you to go to truthcommunitycleanup.com to sign up and be a volunteer to help keep Milwaukee clean. Everyone who joins will get a free lunch provided by Cousin Subs. Register today at truthcommunitycleanup.com. That is truthcommunitycleanup.com to clean and beautify our city together. The Truth Community Cleanup is sponsored by Cousin Subs and Safe and Sound. The Empowerment Small Business Loan Program, we're talking about up to $5 million Dollars, which for small business owners, we need that. That's like payroll, that's resources. So can you just let us know what is the program and why is this lending program so important to Old National Bank? Years ago, our uh, CEO, Jim Ryan, this program is his brainchild. He was working with Roland Shelton, who yes. you know, Denise, out of Evansville. And they identify that African-American business owners, uh, Hispanic business owners, Native American business owners, as well as women business owners had a difficult time in obtaining financing from the traditional credit partners. And so 
we went out, created a program, launched it last year in 2023. And so far last year, we have helped over 100 successful minority and women-owned businesses with about $25 million in loans. We've already started wow. this year with almost $8 million in approvals, again, geared toward minority business owners and women business owners that normally had difficulties in, in obtaining a traditional credit finance. It's early in the year, and we're trying to hit these fitness goals. Zero to 100 Fitness is dedicated to the Milwaukee community, offering affordable and quality fitness and mixed martial arts programs for the last 10 years. They have competitive and novice classes in MMA, kickboxing, and grappling for all skill levels and ages. From youth, community outreach, women's self-defense, and personal safety programs, Zero to 100 Fitness will help you on your journey to greatness. So get up off the couch and into the best shape of your life. Call 414-522-1275 today. Adrian was seriously injured when a careless driver merged into her lane. Gruber was there for everything, everything that I needed. Any questions that I had, Gruber was there. They made me feel like everything about my situation and my accident was very important to them. And that made me feel good. And I would definitely call Gruber again for that. Serving Wisconsin for over 35 years, Gruber Law Offices, one call, that's all. They go above and beyond for their clients. We Energies want you to keep this important safety message in mind. Before you start digging, planting, or landscaping on your property, call 811 to have underground utilities marked. Calling 811 at least three business days before you plan to dig will help you know what's below and can prevent a hazardous situation. Our representatives will mark the underground utilities on your property for free. So remember, stay safe and call before you dig. We Energies, people you can trust, energy you can depend on. You are listening to The Tory Lowe Show on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com. Seven the truth, Tory Low, Tory Low Show. DJ Brother Z on the ones and twos. Elizabeth Brown. Hey yo. Hey, look, it's been another powerful conversation. Powerful conversation. I'm talking about for real, way up top. Um, we learning, you know. Um, and the truth is, I love us. You know what I'm saying? I love us. I love Truth Truth Nation. And right now, we're in a time right now where it's 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 our love for each other that's gonna get us through. Oh, I agree. You and, know, and it ain't it ain't enough love. Just, you know, we need more. You know, and we work it. Hey, though, you know, I, I tell you this: the moment we see that we got to take things into our own hands, Facts. and the people that was trying to you know show us Manipulate. the way. Mm-hmm. Didn't didn't take us the right way. You gotta okay. you gotta create. For real. And many times in that creating, you're doing something that ain't never been done facts. to create a situation, a different All situation. All facts. And that has to happen every so often. It does. You know, you gotta make sure that you upgrade uh Your rent, thought process. <laughs> refresh. Facts. Yes. Reset. Yes. Because if you see it ain't working, then you gotta make that change. And that All comes facts. from within. And we've been talking about that all week, how we have to work from within to make things go instead of looking on the outside. And they say a mother's love is is can't be matched, but a people's love is, is the best that it can ever be. And that I'm a true believer in. We're in a place and time right now where we we doing things different because we want things to be different. It ain't no better time than the present. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Truth Nation, one thing for sure and two for certain, we have to make sure that we understand that proper communication is not only being able to talk, but being able to listen. You know, it's all about balance and making sure that you are no longer being fooled. Because any time a person only got you looking one way, you will be hit. Mm, From the other side. You have two eyes for a reason. Look both ways. You should always leave your options open. If you're closed off to anybody, especially as a black person, 
if you're closed off to any idea, because every idea is being used on us. So we have to make sure that we are allowing ourselves to have an open mind because when you get emotional, you already lost the game. Hey, look, let me tell you, if I got you emotional, I won. Period. Because you're not even thinking about what Facts. you came here for. It's chess and not hey, checkers. Hey, I'm going to throw you off. Off. And the thing is, you know, it's com- you know to compete, Yes. you got to be ready. And, and like I said, you got to know, you know, that many times when we out here in our communities, the only reason our communities look the way that it looks, and we look at other communities and be like, mm-hmm. why they look like that mm-hmm. and why ours look like this, is because we're not being competitive. We're not competing against the other All communities. Ideas, we're, we're competing against, against each, each other. other. So then it beca- it looks like that when you compete again. Yeah. But when we start competing to make things better, Together. when we start competing for mm-hmm. to, make, to bring in jobs, when we Correct. start competing to bring in better housing opportunities, Correct. and we start putting people in place to help us achieve that right. get some real results instead of listening to what they're talking about Facts. and understanding that only how this is going to happen if we all start working as a group to make it happen and be willing to sit down at the table you know again hey. if you're not in the room then you're on a menu and we've been on everybody's menu and it's time for us hey. to be at the table to let them know that we're no you you're no well, longer you better gonna stop using that you better stop me you better stop using agendas that put you on uh, on the menu. And, and, and my thing hey. is, when you get emotional, know that if you've been living a lie, the truth is going to upset you. Sure is. You know, so if you're upset, it don't hurt. if you're super, you know, you, it, it's emotional, it's okay. You know, when new things come, it'll make you a little bit emotional. But again, you have to make sure that you're level-headed to a point where you can see all sides. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you this. Only time my blood pressure go up, is when I'm fighting for what I believe in. All oh, facts. And, I, and, that's and, that's, and, and, and what I'm saying is when you fight for what you believe in, if you're willing to go all the way for what you believe in, that's, that's how change is going to take place. That's the ultimate sacrifice. And so a lot of people ain't willing to fight for what they believe. They're willing, they'll point out the problem. Correct. They always point out what, what they that's see easy. that ain't right. Yeah. But are you willing to go that distance to, 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 to make a change? Make that change. And I think that that's the issue. Are you willing to say, Hey, look, I got to do something. Right. Not a lot of people see a problem and come tell me. Of course. You yeah. know, you saw the problem. Facts. You got the power to fix it. And right? I say that all the time. If Especially you can identify people, it, you can change it. Yeah, I all agree. Facts. So, you know, I would say to Truth Nation, you know, you don't have to like it, but you got to respect it. And I'll say this, regardless or not, if you like it or not, you still, the world going to keep turning and while you waiting and we procrastinating no and looking around to see who gonna come do it, oh, facts. hey, you, you might you might fall in one of those uh, plots hey. because your little dash <laughs> might be up while you your waiting. Your dash is up. Your dash might be up while you waiting for somebody and to come do it. You've been a worker your whole life. Hey, you know look, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm trying, I'm trying to get a big dash. I'm trying to get a big dash. Hey, I'm trying to live. I'm trying to live and understand that if if we're gonna get out of this. We're going to have to get out of it together, but we got to put in some work. All facts. And um, we don't want to celebrate in heaven. I want to celebrate right here. Hey, look, so. and tomorrow we're going to be celebrating. No doubt. Go to truthcommunitycleanup.com to register. Sign up. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Hey. One love. All right, Elizabeth Brown. We got some work to do as usual. I love you, Truth Nation. Stand I appreciate up. you for being on these front lines. One love. All right. All right, DJ Brother Z. All right, talk it up for more the phone. Let's get it. All right, quick. Hey, look, Truth Nation, I appreciate y'all for tapping in all week long. Look, y'all get out here. Get out to the cleanup. Let's have some fun and be safe. You know I love you. Dr. King here some next. If you are my homeboy, you never have to pay me. Go and put your hands up. Sometimes it's hard.